Okay. Now, there we go. Did it come up? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can hear it. Hello, people. Where were they today? And we're down in members, so we're going to get a lot done today. And over here on the laptop, I have my son, Morgan. Go ahead and speak up. Can you turn your mic up? Yeah, that's better. We want you to be able to hear it on the camera. Okay. So just yell into my mic. I guess so. We'll try to get some mics for the or speakers for the laptop, maybe. See if we can get a little more volume. But I guess as long as I hear it, I'll just try to repeat what was said just to make sure people on the air can hear us. Okay, well, he's getting things set up and getting ready. As you see, we have a few less. He's the uh, fairy in the corner on the picture, you'll see. It's Anya. Why do you give it a name that's sim similar to my sister's? Tanya. <laughs> okay. Maybe we don't want you loud enough for the camera to hear. <laughs> I doubt she's watching anything I'm doing. So, I'm going to eat my pot brownie and get ready to start. No, it's just a regular brownie, people on the air. I know the truth, because they were made for me. Hmm? Yeah, they're just regular ones. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if they weren't, I would get censored. All I can uh, see on the screen is that there's so much light on my face. I don't think you can actually see me. I can. No, on... Oh, on air? Yeah. yeah. Probably not, no. What I was thinking about doing was dragging the picture of you right over the computer screen. Well, see, do you see up in the corner where your picture is? Yeah, it looks kind of like uh, an angel with the wings. It's hard to find one with weapons. Yeah. So, you know, the wings can be kind of different, you know, maybe kind of more bird-like for you. Yeah, I was going to ask you what kind of uh, fairies you have in your world, because I kind of, uh, I, I drew, like, an idea of what it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Except for it doesn't look like she can really use that sword well. And the handle probably. See, that's why if you look at the one I have, it's more like she's holding, um, like a pole arm type of handle, Bitch. and it's got a huge long blade, which is like the short sword blade, <laughs> on the end of a long stick for counterbalance. Yeah. But yeah. And if you want some time, I can replace a picture with a picture you want for your character any time. Eventually, I want to draw one that, that I made. <laughs> well, yeah, we've had other players kind of th talk about the same thing. It's kind of weird. You look in the corner on the Skype, and I see a little picture that's kind of the opposite shot of the one I'm shooting over here. Does that mean I'm going to get right around here in the middle? Some kind of flux of visual energy. As the two cameras run into each other. That actually worries me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're in the city of Gaul. Have you, uh, oh, you get a chance. Have you been watching the episodes? Not for the series, but uh, she's only sent me once for the, uh, uh, the mutants. Okay, so you would need one for the. Well, there's actually, I have a Facebook page for it, too. Oh, nice. So you can go to nice. the, you, you can go to my site at Real Damn Studio on YouTube and yeah. find all my stuff. That's what I opened it through. I went to your page. Yeah, and uh, I think the first stuff on my page right now is the uh, RPG Live game, this one. Yeah. I put the one on top that has the highest numbers. Nice. So. Um, I think it would be rude of me to 
watched the older uh, parts of the campaign, then I'd know more than I need to. <coughs> well, what I would say you should do, though, and anyone else that wants to know, if you go online, you can find one called Episode Zero. And that actually explains the city. Like, what you would know about the city. Oh, nice. And the world a little bit. You know, a little bit of the history of the area. Without getting into the players' histories. And I've also brought up, and I can mention this online too, let people know, that we've talked about doing, uh, like, little videos. Almost like little commercials, but of, like, a story of Edo. And who he is, and where he is, and what he's done. So players that step into the game can look at those files yeah. and uh, f catch up on the character real quick. Oh, just a second. I'm actually going to You're watching the chat, aren't you? Dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, did you find extra dice six? I have to read it. I have to read it. Yeah, I forgot where I put all my other dice. I had them all. What was that? Oh, we're talking. I can't read anything from here to there. <laughs> hey, we can barely see him now. I can see him. That's all right. Okay. Let me uh, get some stuff laid out. Well, let's just skip that, I guess. Yeah, we really don't need music. Okay. So I can put this here. I put dice up here. What? Bill. When's your uh, next day? And oh, actually, I should put this here. Put that there. You know, I wonder. Sometimes, can the viewers cheat and see my plans? Uh, no. Okay, I was just curious. Oh, and it's, it's hard for me to write. Hey, you notice nowadays I have to wear glasses. I have to go and get new ones. Again? What was my lifetime job with you? That's not nice. This was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. I think you just don't like the way the world looks with your glasses on, so you're like, you're all fucking ugly. Tell I'm just going to be blurry and make you all look better. Oh, yeah, to Fridays. Oh, for the Saturday? Yeah. In case people, yeah, someone mentioned, uh, Saturday, I know you guys are like hearing a one-way conversation here on this. We'll get things rolling soon. And uh, Fridays are now the uh, these Marvel superhero game because we want to have a break between that and today's game. Uh, as you see, we're not going to have Cristelia or Mountain here. He's disguised as a kitty over there. <coughs> can you hear us all right over there? Yeah. Can you okay. See my cat? Yes, I can. I can see your pussy. Uh, all I can think is that's what I need to get as a mouth in this game. A cat. Well, yeah, yeah you're small. Oh, no, they don't have cats. Hey. I should get a regular horse and then make a house on it. No, what you can do is uh, a mobile home. <laughs> Build it into the saddle. You get a porch. How's this? You get a porch with a fishing pole that you hang off and fish with little pieces of cheese on the end of the hook so you catch mice. That's so funny. No, it's the horse. Okay. No, but wait, if you did it, they don't have cats in town. They have crats. Crats, K-R-A-T. The best way to describe them is if you took a cat and a rat and you mixed them. They're hairless. They're freaky little things. They're, they look like a hairless cat, but they got the tail like a rat and slightly larger ears. So a New York rat, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a big rat. This is the vermin of this world. They don't have rats, they have crats. Yeah, 
The nice thing about the crats, though, is they do clean themselves more than rats do. Because, you know, like cats, they clean themselves. So they kind of got rid of the rats because of the infestations in the city of diseases back early days. But the crats, since they kept themselves clean, they kind of left going. They did what the rats used to do, which is the wolf. Do you need to go get... Oh, you don't have any in the house? No, I forgot to buy some. Uh-oh. Do you have Kool-Aid or anything? No, I ain't got no Kool-Aid bits. Who the fuck you think I is? Just <gasps> give me a second. I'm going to mute myself. Well... Why, well, mute yourself? Are you going to, like, say bad words while looking for shit, Pop? No, no, no. I'm going to... I'm going <coughs> to... Okay. Can you hear us? Or do you have... Okay, well, I'm going to start soon. <laughs> That's my son. I love him, but between the issues between me and his mom, I didn't get to see him as much as I would like to have. And hopefully maybe I'll see him more. Yeah, hopefully one of these days he'll be... Be my only son! He'll be uh, gaming with us in person. Yeah, that would be fun. Like physically. We could talk about him. He's yeah, because he can't hear us. But you're not allowed to take him to the club. Why? They'll jump all over him. No, no they won't. Not like that. Or are they going to be afraid because I, I, they know the connection? No, no one knows a shit about me. <laughs> I'm the crazy old guy that shows up every once in a while as a, that used to have a public access show. Okay, let's see here. <coughs> we could have started up a little bit because you're not there for starters. New player will come in as we go. What? You stole soda? But, okay, do you have your phone? You can put us on. Okay. Okay, well, I'm saying if you want to take the phone and go get something to drink and come back, because then I can get through it, because then you can at least keep track of what's going on, and all i got to do is go through people's solo stuff before I get to you. Okay. i got, like, you think, what, 10 minutes? 20? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, You'll just drink Canadian water. Ew. <laughs> I don't know, Canadian water's probably pretty good. But probably better than the States. Probably cleaner. Do you guys have fluoride to your water, too? I don't know. If this shit keeps off with Trump, we might be moving up there. Yeah, I tried that one with uh, George Bush. And now I think it's stupid because, man, George Bush wasn't that bad. Not compared to these. He was just stupid. This guy's evil. Okay. Non-politics. Oh, we have... Uh, everyone... Well, everyone roll. Secludes you. Two dice six. And tell me the number. Sixteen. Yeah, add your speed. I'll add, it, add your speed. Speed? Yeah, add your speed. We're doing the initiative thing. Beginning of the day. What'd you get? Sixteen. Sixteen? Fox? Uh, speed, my speed. Did you Facebook me my character sheet? Oh, shit. Um. I will do that right now. If you have to, get a close-up on just the numbers. Get one shot distant, maybe one close-up just the numbers area. Yeah. That is, that will make it easier. I thought I was going to sit here and look at your character for you. Fox? Uh, uh, 17. 17? No, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. And 22. Reina? 22? I think it's 28. Alright, I just sent it to you. Okay. And, uh, Anya? Yeah. What'd you roll? Uh. On 2 dice 6. 2 dice 6. Okay, I'll do it. Five plus what? 
You rolled a five total? Yeah. Plus your speed. S which is 11. So which is 11. Which one do you roll? Seven. Yeah. Wait, he had 11 plus what do you roll? What did you roll? Uh, I rolled a five plus 11. So it's 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. So, we will start with Fox. Silver Fox, what are you doing today, this morning? Uh, last we were... Getting drunk? No. Uh, we'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there later. Lunch, maybe. Um, we were, uh, last time we were at the, uh... Well, you're at your house right now. I know, but we, so we didn't have anything to spend in a setting to do yet. Um, first, might as well go have breakfast. Okay. Where are you going to have breakfast? Downstairs or? At the bar. At the Troll in the Tavern. The bar. Okay. The elf goes off to the bar to get breakfast. Not a drink. Honestly. We all believe you. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll the dice six. One or two. Just you, yeah, roll, roll one. We're rolling an encounter for Silver Fox. Because he's walking down the streets. Three. Three. That's the day he gets robbed. <laughs> it's like that was the one roll that kills him, huh? No, can I turn him into a frickin' table? Well, if you get some bad potions and wait till he passes out and save his life. I say do it. <laughs> no, what he did is he has like super elven endurance. So he buys old potions past their date, which have a chance to fail and do mutation effects. But his endurance is so high, he's safe most of the time. Well, if someone else was dying, he fed it to them, and they didn't have superhuman endurance. So I got turned into so a damn table lamp. She started glow, or he started glowing purple. And oh, there it was, there it is, was cast upon him. Wait, so he's a magical item? He was for a little while, it wore off. But he glue, glue purple. Glue? Glowed? Glowed. Glowed. I got brownie in my mouth. What do you want? <laughs> okay. Um. I will step on the land. Uh, on the, uh, we will go now ferry. to Reina. You wake up. Your brother's still asleep again. I'm gonna go wake on him up. I can zoom in on you guys. You guys could probably do that to me. Zoom in? We yeah, could. Like, stretch my face across the screen. Maybe it'll heat up some of the light. Do you want to try it? <coughs> I cannot do anything with the lighting in the room. We need that for the camera. Here, I'll try it. Well, then you just tip it a little bit at the right angle, I think. That sometimes takes away the light when it's not glaring on it. So point it, and then t tell me. You tell me when it starts to look better. Hold on. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute because of the, the delay. Oh. It's actually brighter when she points it down. Okay. How's that? Are you even uh, on the screen, Devin? No. Yeah. <coughs> no, it's. It, what you, you wanted to see? He he wanted his face bigger. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're interrupting the game. It's not even your turn yet. <laughs> we'll get to you. And then he'll be like, "Okay, my initiative. Can we fix my picture?" <laughs> but we're in the middle of combat. Put up a little little screen that says we'll be right back. 
you know. The, the, the elevator music? Yeah. Oh gosh, elevator music. Okay, now, uh, you wake up Edo. Edo, make a con roll. Two dice six plus your con. I know. Well, I'm just have to say on the, so everyone knows. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay. You're good. He wakes up. Not too bad off. Not too cranky. He's probably gonna get up in a little bit. But you know, it's always nicer to wake up to your sister in your face saying, "Get up." Right. <laughs> well, what are you guys gonna do now? Look for more. Look for. Let's go harass Silver Fox. Okay. You go to his home? Yep. He's not there. <clears throat> and then I knew where he's at. Okay. You're going to head to the Troll in the <clears throat> Tavern. Yep. The best dive bar in the poorest part of town. <laughs> best dive bar in the poorest part of town. <laughs> yes. You know, you should see the one they got rid of earlier. Fuck. They were enslaving people. Giving people yes a pa massive potions. Now, um, well, as you guys are walking along, you're going to run into him earlier than you thought. Bill, I found your other dice. So give me that red one back. Okay. And you're going to need that. Yeah, I think I have one that works. It's working so far, I'm not going to curse it. I love it. It's my favorite. I threw the rest away. Take a lesson. Yes, I threaten my inanimate objects into behavior. It's like beauty the beast. Except it's not Mrs. Teapot doing you wrong. She was the narc, wasn't she, man? <laughs> How about this question for that? Hey, Morgan. Mrs. Teapot. Mrs. Teapot had kids. One child, yes. Uh, okay. How long had they been... For as long as the curse had been on them, all the main staff were turned into inanimate objects. The rest of the staff was turned into the parts of the house. Okay, how about the room full of broken furniture? I have no clue about that. I think he killed a bunch of people. Probably. He was, what, like... Uh, Angry? It's kind of a side wars maneuver, though. Rich kid becomes monster. It's kind of a lateral. He was a prince. Well, that makes him bad. Usually inbred. Most no, princes in Europe were inbred. Hmm. Princes are... Oh, man. Royalty's just bad people. Yes. Why do you think he was looking so hard for a princess that wasn't in his family? Yeah. And why he was having such a problem? <laughs> yeah, he had to go find a cursed one. Sorry, wrong, wrong prince. Well, how about, no, then there's the prince that went and raped sleeping women. There's two of those. Yeah. Disney's Somphilia. got all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> Somphilia is a thing. If she's sleeping, it means yes. No, it means no, no. <laughs> well, that's not what Disney thinks. Okay. Now, on to this. A Ado and Reyna. You guys are awake and you're heading down the street. Okay? Yeah, you completely bypass the whole... The whole uh, oh, did they? Yeah. So oh, which one's the one I got reports about? Just off the She's not here. Oh, the one with the bag? Yeah, she didn't show up. She's actually watching on live right now. Yeah. Okay, There's... Get over there. We'll get to you when we'll explain that when we'll get to you, okay? That way she can hear that someone's looking for her. And those uh, <laughs> missing fairies. <laughs> get you, get you, get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You guys are heading down the street for the third time. Yep. And you don't get far because there's a great big traffic jam. Warlord Trask 
is preparing to leave town finally. He's doing all, he's picking up all of his goods. And in the process, he's completely closed down the middle streets of the city. He's got his people walking around doing things. So, you can get where you're going, it's just going to take a longer route. Lame! But also, you roll a die six, and you roll a die six. We're just... Okay. Five and... Six. Okay. Eh. You see him in the crowd since you arrived last. Do you head towards him or? Yes. Okay. All three of you are together now. All I need is another screen and a webcam. And this will work out. This will work out. Yeah, I need one of those mics like the ones that they used for a rock band. Just butter in. Oh, yeah. I actually have one of those. Well, it's not a rock band one. I have one with the uh, little thing on it for recording, for professional. Yeah. I use that for some of my stuff, but not out here. Well, I, say, uh, I have separate audio and um, mic cords for my desktop, so I'd have to get, like, I have headphones that work, but the mic doesn't work with it because the audio is in a separate hole. Oh, oh, yeah. I have, I have a few of those because, you know, headphones just don't last more than five minutes. My glasses almost have to. Okay, I can get you more. <laughs> um, so you met him. I'm just going to need uh, all three of you. We're going to do one roll for each of you because okay. it's three, three rounds you're to go around instead of one. Four, five, and four. Right there, hopefully in the center. No encounters then. So... You guys head on down to the Troll in the Tavern for breakfast. They do have, they have sausages. You have sausages, some toast. Ew, meat. Okay, what do you want? Celery? Carrots? I have some raw potatoes. Would you like them cooked up or something? Or no. just raw? I'll just eat them raw. How about turnips? Sure. Okay. How about a plate of all of them? Okay. Okay. Wow. How about you? You almost sound like an orb. Hmm? <laughs> no, it's the opposite. She hates meat. She can't. She doesn't like meat. She's a vegetarian. She's a dark elf. How about you? You're a meat eater. Are you normal? Yes, I'm normal. Okay. <laughs> You're a meat eater. I have yet to sharpen her teeth. You don't need those for the vegetables. But it, it, it's defense. It would break. Oh. <laughs> it would in break case, the vegetables down more. <laughs> in case the vegetables come at you. <laughs> it's defense. Okay. Well, then, uh, we'll bring that to you. How about you? The usual? Okay. Yes. Did you want food this morning, too? <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, really? Okay. So you all get there, and after a while, since Silver Fox has the magic number, Silver Fox, um, you're sitting there eating your food, drinking your drink, and then some attractive elfin lady, way looks like, first thing you think, she's in the wrong part of town. She's overdressed for this. This is like, she might be a noble. <coughs> and she's slumming it. And she looks around the room desperately. Kind of came in a little hurry and is looking around like she's looking for someone. Walk, I'll walk over to her and ask her. Okay, what do you say? You look like you're in the wrong place of town. You looking for somebody particular? Yeah, I think you might do. <laughs> She looks you up and down. Says, I think you'll do. Quick, let's sit down. Okay. You sit down where everyone else is, or do you go off to your own table? With us. All of us. Okay. They sit there and bring down some... I'm getting a little pathetic. It's stash. 
the entire back row. Did you change locations? Yes. Okay. Okay. He's out in the cold. Are you out in the cold outdoors? Yeah, but that's where the weed smoked. Okay. Well, that's fine. It makes sense to me. Hey, that's Canada. Yeah. It's a lot of places. It'll get to be more as time goes. <clears throat> okay. You. <coughs> then as you're all sitting there. <coughs> some uh, <coughs> elderly military elf or half-elf guy. <coughs> he uh, kind of comes running into the room. Kind of pissed. Pushes the door open really quick. And it looks around the room. They looking for you, lady? Yeah. Why? And then she moves in on you for a kiss. Alrighty then. Make a charisma roll. Yeah, charisma plus what you're old. And then I'll be bringing you in soon, Morgan. He can meet you guys at the bar. He heard she shows up here a lot. 37. 37. Well, so? You are a very homely looking... Mm -hmm. no, Half elf. No, he's a, he's a very. What's your charisma? My charisma is twenty-eight. Yeah. So. Oh. So this is the one you run off when I go to uh, serve Trask. Excuse me. You don't need to talk. He puts a hand in front of you. Like, <laughs> You see steam coming off his head. She's like, yes, and I love him. Do you even know my name? Silver Fox. <clears throat> Bite me. Silver Fox. She's <laughs> heard her. Heard her. Heard her name. <laughs> She's got really good hearing. I rolled an 11. Lady, I just met you. What's going on? <laughs> You don't have to act this way about it. He, I don't care if he knows. <laughs> On what? <laughs> On how much I love you and you love me. I don't love anybody. Huh? What? She gonna punch someone? Oh boy. I think Ada's back. Maybe he don't think she's done. He, maybe they have been doing something on the side. That's why you had signed her all the time. I punched him with the 31. You punched him? Yes. Who, me? Yes. What for? Well, um, like just done? Mm hmm. Roll the dice six. Four. Four points. It's done. It'll be, you'll be fine in an hour, so just keep track of it. Hey, just play along, okay? Okay. Where'd you punch him? In the face. In the face? Okay. What the hell is going on, lady? I don't even. Are you hear. sleeping with his wife too? Holy shit! That's no, he is sleeping with my sister. <laughs> I'm not. What the hell is going on? <laughs> you, I'm sir. gonna take care of you later. <laughs> Keep it closed and what the hell's going on, lady? It's your turn. Twenty-six. What are you 
good. She punched, I am going to punch Sir Fox in the stomach. <laughs> what the hell did I do? What? Table. <laughs> Four. Four points again. <laughs> table! Remember that? Just table. <laughs> We're even on that now. He's just like, uh... <laughs> you know what, really, honey? It looks like you have a fun little group going here, so I'm going to go back to war. I hope you survive this. And he walks out on her. And she's like, damn it! And throws down her foot and starts stomping out after him. <laughs> she's trying to make him jealous. <laughs> Told you I'd get my revenge. I will get mine now. No, you don't. It is even now. Okay. For turning me into a fucking purple glowing table. <laughs> it's even. <laughs> Why does that healing potion have a skull face on it? Don't worry, drink it, Silver Fox. <laughs> We're even now. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is that lady trying to do? She's trying to make her husband jealous before, uh, because he was gonna, he was leaving again. <laughs> trying to keep him home. Yeah. <laughs> and you got punched in the gut and the face. <laughs> well, that's all right. The guy was probably gonna challenge you to a duel. Hey. But it all got so crazy. Paul's her big brother. <laughs> Whatever her big brother does, she yes. I can't hit a woman, but I can hit him. And I'll just hit you back. Exactly. Kind of kinky. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't know you swung that way, Silver. Okay. At this point, a fairy comes flying into the bar, yelling, uh, I need to see Crystalia now. Morgan? <laughs> you hear that? Yes, I heard you say uh, fairy flies into the bar. You flew into the bar, told everyone, where's Crystalia? A fairy flies into the bar. Right into the window. Ow. You hate it when those damn fairies keep hitting those windows. <laughs> They're going, who put the window in the middle of our interstate? Has he got a fly swatter around here? <laughs> this, uh, oddly enough, this fairy has a, I don't know, two and a half foot blade on his back. That's a strong fairy. Yeah. And it's female, just in case you don't, you know, you don't have to think it's a male, just because, <coughs> just because it's strong. Oh, I found a hilarious picture of a male fairy warrior. He had a big old axe, he was like sitting on like this, and he was like, this wide and his wings were like this big behind him. <laughs> it was a male though. I couldn't find a female version. She'll just look really butch. It's fine. Yeah. So, hey, is that a guy? No, it's a woman and she is topless. Yeah! <laughs> uh, okay, you came in and you yelled that. What's anyone else do to about this fairy yelling the name of someone you know? You want to know where Am the I is? the only one that's going to say something? He's, he's eating. See? That's why you get no snacks during the game. It just keeps up, man. What's Raina going to do? Anything? He's looking for the pregnant one. She's not here right now. Where he comes flying over, or she comes flying over to your table. What's it to you? You notice she's wearing armor that has definite markings, like some kind of nation. But you've never heard of it. Although part of the symbol looks kind of like the Baron symbol. Okay, where are you from and why do you want to see her? You know why I'm here. No, we don't. We've heard accusations of someone saying they put fairies in their bag. Oh, the backpack! Ooh, I think that's at her house. Where is? I don't think she's home right now. I think you better be there for her. 
at that point, as you're you know sitting there with your little argument, a group of about six rather large orcs in armor come wandering into the bar, oh, and uh, waving around a note, saying they want to speak to Edo before you start oh, doing anything. Man. You remember Walter the ogre? Uh huh. At S and G. Uh huh. He's here. He kind of stands up, blocking you off. And he motions with his hand behind him, over towards like a room over on that side. So you can hear what's going on, maybe. I go. Okay, you go. Anyone else go with him? I'm right behind. Silver Fox. Yeah, Raina, or are you gonna stay out here? I'm probably gonna help defend my brother. Okay, like, you go there. Gonna... How about the barbarian fairy? You gonna go with the us? The people you were talking to just left. I have to follow them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Plus, there's a group of orc orcs looking for him, apparently. Uh, okay, yeah. you go in there. What you see is decorated with a faded posters of bosomy blondes, elves, all clutching foaming mugs. As you're looking around for an escape route, you can kind of hear at the door, which you don't hear anything. After a short while, though, a bar girl comes to call you out again. Uh, as you come out, you see the stranger sprawled unconscious all over the tavern floor. Unbloodied, but quite motionless. Walter has their personal effects in, your, in his hand. Walter, what'd you do? Well, you help me, so I hit them in the head. What did they want? They said this was for you. I take it and read it. Okay. <laughs> Do you know them? I don't know. I need to read the note first. Small sealed envelope with your name elaborately scripted in ink. Inside the envelope is a white card engraved with abstract filigree and scripted in ink. And your name on the outside, it reads, The Place, After Elder Castle, which is a mansion in the nobility area, Time, nine to night. Reason, a job offer. Who's it from? It doesn't say. Walter, <coughs> go back to the warehouse. Okay. You all right then? Yes, I'm fine. You just beat up some people that worked for a, another... Well, they were going to hurt you. I don't think they were. My necklace said they do. He holds out a necklace. Says it glows red when people mean bad. Okay. Just like I knew that guy that broke into our place. If you would like, you could come with. No, I'm fine. I got to go to work anyways. <clears throat> okay. And he reaches over and grabs a turkey off the table that they brought him, and he leaves chewing on it, bones and all. Okay. Just eating it like an apple. Wow, that's a big ogre. Oh, yeah, he's ten and a yeah. half feet tall. I'm watching. It's just a baby. Nine? Oh, man, we barely started. Yeah. We have tons to do. Right. We're going to have to maybe do two tapes. What? So we can still get... No, if the, if the show it's not was... nine o'clock. Oh. Nine people watching. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, you got to make sure to tell your friends to watch, man. Okay. I want as many viewers as possible. Oh, hey, we have neat clubs down here where Morgan performs drag. You should come down here. I've seen the pictures. I'm doing Jessica Jones on Wednesday. So excited. Here's Marvel. Hero type? Yeah. Little ear hat. Stop calling me your head now. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do the yellow <coughs> shirt. I'm going to do the uh, jeans, black shirt, leather jacket, and boots. I think she should wear what she wears when she goes to bed. Nothing. <laughs> no, she wears the little, little black <laughs> the little black underwear and a, the black tank top. No, it's a great tank top. Yeah. 
It's a well, it's kind of a wife beater, but it was black. Yeah. I guess it'd be a husband beater for Jessica Jones. Yep. Okay. No. Well, I'm sure you're thinking, well, well, work is work. Anyone worth working for should know that, you know, you guys are pretty good at this. And this is another one. It looks like one of the ones from those, like, the nobility direction you've been kind of getting some good jobs from. Could be someone connected to uh, either uh, Marduk, the albino dwarf, or with uh, Charlie, even. So, you guys want to head there? Yep. Everyone roll a die six, including you, Morgan. Five. Three. One. Four. Ooh, a one. Bill got a one. Bill gets to roll uh, two die six. Six. Well, chance on anything he runs into, all of you run into. Six. You like these, don't you? Yeah. You see a giant snake slithering through the bushes. A giant snake? Yeah. How big? A giant! Um, <laughs> 20 feet snake, at least. Snake. 30 20, 30 feet. 30 feet. An anaconda. Okay. Um, actually, around this area, they're known as oblivion snakes. Because they come out of the sewers. <laughs> so, you want to go over and keep it? Or you want to just let it go? As long as it ain't attacking me, it can go wherever it wants to go. Actually, you rolled up pretty high, so it's up. Angry, you're probably recently fed, so you just let it go? Yeah. Okay. You don't get experience points then. I don't want to kill a poor level. I'm going to kill it! <laughs> you're chasing it down? Yes! Let's see. Eight. Hey, do something, man. Do something. Let's cut its fucking head off. <laughs> and. Trying to do the Highlander, huh? I need. There it is. <laughs> there can be only tw 12. Okay, it's dead. 16 points. Woohoo! Okay, hand this that way. Jeez. Oh, yeah. You wanted to buy some new armor. Yeah. You'll pick up some armor on the way. Anyone else want to do any specific shopping? We can say you guys have time. I'm wanting to upgrade my armor. <laughs> okay, she's got the armor chart. Alrighty. So I'm going to erase all this yeah, shit. Yeah, I want to get some more arrows. Just well, you what, you wait. Your, what are you doing with your used stuff? Giving it to her. Okay, we'll tell her so she knows. Okay, ring plate. Do you want a ring plate? Sure. Plus seven. <clears throat> you probably not the first time you've gotten hand me downs from him. Actually, here, I'll write it down for you. Oh. Suddenly, two dark elves start taking off their clothes and switching. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey, he take his armor. I want, he's like, go to an armor store. He's like, I want that. They add it to him. He takes his off, throws it on the ground. He's like, that's yours now. And he puts on the new one. Okay, I went slow, but I drink all my wine. <laughs> that's all right. I have more. It's a big jug. It's mine. Yes. It's hers. Yes. Well, that's why it's not... Okay. So you now have seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Yay. Stronger armor. Ten. You Just now have ten armor. And now someone's going to attack you thinking, ah, it's Edo. Oh, gosh. <laughs> They're going to mix me up with Edo? Yes. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> He's creating a duplicate. Yeah. Now, I want you to go talk to the masses for me. What? <laughs> Tell them we've increased our taxes. They'll love you. Don't worry. It, it's no. You don't. You don't look anything like me. Yay. I want to no, go I have more buy armor. some more arrows. Okay. I didn't have to spend any money. Um, when she's done. Yeah, it's in there. Just it's. You take the same page, and it's in front of that. Oh, the pages. Hey. She's done. 
we got to get you over there a copy of the rule book so you can know what's going on. Okay, Devin. What would, uh... So that'd be pl to add up my. Um, Can I send stuff on Messenger or not? Depending on the size. Ah, it's probably a pretty good size. Well, it fits on a one of those cheap little thumb drives. It's under a gig. Now I used to be huge. I remember back when I was taking, taking animation in college. You uh, had to put. You could put like three and a half minutes on a zip disk. That was it. God, I remember that. And at the time, they said, these are the greatest things in the world. These will be... F and then like the next year, it was jazz disk. It was that long, it became obsolete in one semester. Not even one year. Yeah, it was just one semester. Like eight, six minutes. Then they're like, ooh, these will hold ten of these. We're like, God damn it, I just spent a hundred bucks on those. I now have plus 20 armor. Okay. Because you, oh, you don't have double armor. Okay, now over here. <coughs> nope, give me here. I'll get to you. Okay, I just want to buy. <laughs> well, you can get some. You get yours from your, well, yours came from your company, or from the, uh, whoever you were working for. We assume you're kind of a soldier. Um. Yeah. Regular arrows are... Um, arrows, sheaf of arrows, 24 arrows, cost 40. Okay, so 24, yeah, 24, cost how much? 40. 40, yep. okay, and then the poisonous ones? Oh, shit. Those Mostly on those it was the poison. So which poison were you wanting? Uh, we had uh, the last one. The dragon venom? Yeah. It costs a thousand, and you will be able to apply. Was it six? Was it, it usually says three. It costs a thousand. You could usually have three arrows with it. I thought I doubled it for arrows because arrows were small. Yeah. So, yeah. You can apply six arrows, and it will cost you one thousand gold. Okay, so it's plus six. So That's I got quadruple damage. Ten. I got Those ten. are the kill me arrows. Ten, and then I have... <coughs> Anything else? That's all I needed. Okay. Okay, <coughs> after you uh, head on... Well, as you're looking, uh, you should have known that what happens to amateurs like these three these guys came looking for you. In fact, it was probably part of the test, if you think of some of the other situations, looking at the orcs. They look kind of like the orcs you saw before, which were just higher guards for some of the castles up there. So okay. it could have been the same service. So it could have been some of the same orcs. So after you're heading off, after you hit the stores, start heading up the uh, hill over to the noble side of town. Um, is that you get up there and you arrive at the appointed time, descending upon the sub street level stairs to wrap on the oaken door. Apparently you're expected for the maitre door or maitre door lets you in. The place looks like a bomb hit. But then you see for what there's actually is a decorative motif. Little nooks of that look like bomb hits. Then the chairs are built into it into the floor. These nooks forming to cause there's like little crater areas on the floor with rubble strewn around for effect. The chairs and tables are deformed as though they melted, but our flowing forms are still in intact. They still work as chairs. You can kind of smell some ozone in the air. The lighting is dim except for the flashing magic lights. Kind of like a, you know that one light spell, Will-O-Wisp, going off. No, I don't want any coffee. Not many people are present. No, takes Most are huddled. Uh, in small groups within the crater nooks, discussing their own politics, philosophies, and manic things. So one comes up to you and says, y If you please be seated. Says the lone figure seated at a table to which you are conducted. Two pointed elven ears protrude from her elegant golden hair. That's Charlie. No. Damn. Mm.
you know, it could just easy just be. I just make it, Charlie. I was kind of thinking in that direction, maybe. And I was looking at it, and I'm looking at it. I think it should work fine. It eliminates. Otherwise, it's someone that knows Charlie that Charlie recommended. So this makes just as much work. <coughs> and I have no doubt the job I have for you will be one of the easiest you've ever been offered. And the most adventurous. Nah. So, this time's mission would be something, you know, a little experiment or adventure, or however you want to call it. You will be I don't know, I'm You'll be making a pickup. There's a certain book that is far overdue um, from the tower, and you shall collect it for us. You are to make a delivery, but it's the same place as the first. You, the object to be delivered is a simple sealed vase, locked tight and quite harmless. The fact that you will be required to tolerate or to leave the city of Gull should be no problem for seasoned adventurers like you. All travel arrangements have been made, and I can provide complete information about your destination. Sounds good to me. Okay. You all good with it, or anyone have any questions? Nope. I'm good. How much are we going to get paid? Oh, Where's the bag? Where's the bag? The backpack. Not, not, not to them, but to the, uh, to the party. Oh. What do you guys say? Crystalia has it. And we don't know where yeah, she's at. You're going to show me where she is. Okay. I don't know what your thing is, but to answer your question, it's a thousand for each of you. A thousand gold if you wish to do this. Uh, I nod my head in agreement. Yeah. No, so that needs with you. Where's the... Yeah, yeah, I'm with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Money. It's like, huh? Okay. I could find this person easier if I had a thousand gold. Yes, yes, uh, Devin. Mike just said she's in the toilet. <laughs> Crystal, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay, uh, <coughs> so you accept the job, so... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh. Okay, she gets up. She says, well then, let's go. Uh, and she starts walking out. Ladies first. Go! Okay, she start walking out. You head to a wagon. You guys get in. I I sit right next to her. Okay. <laughs> Long time curse roll? Yours. Sixty. Okay. Well then, I guess if you need, I guess I could let you guys swing by and pick up anything if you want. Otherwise, uh, we're heading you straight to the ship. Um, I do have a troll hound that I bring with me. Oh, yeah, the troll hound. As protection. Huh. It's an idea. Will it behave? Yes. Of the troll hound? How well trained is this animal? Very well trained. He eats things all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but only what you tell him to. Anya, stay away from the mouth. Oh, I was going to say it's a red Well, just to let you know, you guys will be dealing with a... Uh, the there's an island out in the bay. The Foron, which is where Gull is. Out there in the bay, it's a self-sufficient island. Demo you know, nation. <coughs> Mostly, I say mostly, under the control of Baron Munchmouse. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of a strange name. <laughs> but that is his name. You probably get the laughs out before you get to him. <laughs> Munchmouth. Munchmouse. Mouth. M O M A U S. Mouse. Munch mouse. And it's on the fringes of what's known as the nation of Bavar. Is he a cat person? 
No, uh, actually, he's a troll. It's one of the nations. There's many of the nations outside the city of Gull that are ruled by other races. So you're probably going to find quite a bit of other creatures around, too, and you can't assume that just because you run into an orc, you probably shouldn't attack it right away. <coughs> so, uh, the vase is being sent already. It will be on the boat already, as well as some other gear you'll be needing for the mission that we'll know you'll need one way or another. So, uh, anything else? You just need to pick up your dog? You got stats for the dog? No, you never nope. gave me stats for it. damn. Actually, let me look. Thought I did. Let me look! I could probably go find him, but... She might have it. So, this is, a, this is quite the adventure right out the gate, with very little information. No, I do not. You never give to me. Okay, your dog, your dog can't go. Fine. Your dog can go, but we're going to crate it up and send it. I'll have I'll stats for you next time. Uh, no, I'm going to go ask my... Uh... Goblins? Or I'm, what? I'm going to have them keep an eye on her. Okay, just make sure she's safe? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to take the snake to them, too. They also say, though, that without them, you wouldn't be able to control him at all. You've not gotten well, the skill on it yet, have here's you? Here's a snake... Chop it up. Okay. Feed it to Daisy. Okay. Daisy, the 300 pound dog. Yes. Thing. Yes. With no hair. Yes. You should probably be fed more things than that. Well, I also have 15 pounds of meat in my house. That'll be good for a couple days. I wonder, where's the location of this house you're speaking? Well, you're actually parked out in front of it. Is this where that girl with the bag? <coughs> No, she's close though. Close enough for you to take me there before I can this. Nope. Revenge. No, I have to do it when she get when she comes back. Besides, I thought you were hiring on to this job. Yes, I am. Okay. The money outweighs the mission at this moment. Okay. So as That's we start off. Are. She tells you that actually the offer is, in truth, I will pay 4,000 gold to each of you. And I'm going to give you 1,000 now, and the remaining 3,000 after you return the book to me. Okay. I feel like this is adequate. And a date? No, but just you? Yes. Okay. So I can write this down now? Score second date. Well, you write down 1,000 gold. <clears throat> She'll pay you guys that now. Score second date. Just start sliding it into my coin purse. Yeah, I start dropping coins in there. Ka-ting, ka-ting, one at a time. Very, very long period, but you'll get it done. <laughs> Your skill, drop it into the magic. Holding bag that fairies use, otherwise having gold's kind of... Well, actually, what are you guys doing with your gold? It is 100 pounds in gold. It's in cumbersome. I'm just going to... Do you want to leave it at home? I'm going to put it in my stash spot. You leave a thousand at home? Yes. Wherever home is, because there's a lot of places in that house. And there's a shed. You just throw it in the shed? No. <laughs> I'm going to go put it in my stash area. Okay. I'm going to hide mine. Okay, in your house. Are you going to bury it? What are you going to do? I'm just He's going to keister it. <laughs> hundred pounds in gold if you're back. No. Nah. There. Uh, he doesn't make it. Table. Suddenly starts crapping gold. I've made a hidden area. Nobody knows about it. Oh, oh! Ah, it's underneath your bed. Nope. <laughs> we'll assume you just hide your money. <clears throat> How about you, Rana? I'm going to keep my money on me. So you take your 100-pound bag of gold and carry it. You're like, I can hit someone. This is a weapon. Did you all inherit houses in this town? No, they actually paid for them. And these are huge houses. Well, for you they are. Yeah, they're profitable. It's, it's a mansion-sized house. I mean, it's it's like got two bedrooms. Two bedrooms big enough to fit a whole building in. <laughs> for fairies. I could have condos in here. I could make a casino. Oh, 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 the money. 
He's gonna make. He's gonna get a house at the edge by the garden and convert it into fairy apartments and become the first fairy slumlord. Don't forget the casino. That's downstairs. Oh, you can have high stakes games up in the penthouse. The people live in between. So that way when they spend all their money, you know where they live. <laughs> um. <coughs> what are you looking for? We don't? My neck brace. Your neck brace. Give me a second. Oh. I don't see it there. Is it in your bag, maybe? Underneath no. on the computer, underneath. No. No. I'll be fine. <coughs> I'll be fine, Devin. Okay. Do you want to go look for it? I'm going to have to. Okay, go do it. Can any of you divulge any information nope. about the bag? He wants to know information about the bag. Maybe you should ask questions about the bag. Or does anyone want to answer any questions? You just can ignore the uh, fairy's questions? I think that's a yes. I don't know much about Castelia, so there's not much I can tell for her, tell of information of her. You don't know where she went. She disappeared. She Or she vanished. maybe went and had her demon baby. Oh, God, no. Are you sure that you shouldn't be worried about that instead of running off onto a mission? <laughs> so much worth it. We'll kill it later. The demon baby? Yeah. Jesus. These people plan to kill her baby. They are foul people. That would just make the money worth it. Now you should just turn him in if it comes down to it, huh? Uh, do you care about this? Execution always works best. Bill. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let her buy. What's all this then? Oh, she has to get her neck brace. Check, see, maybe it is in the backpack. Okay, I just didn't look in the right place. Sometimes Lady Knight her neck bugs her. sword will fit in a jar. The sword's huge. This, this fairy looks like she shouldn't be able to ca carry this sword. I'll take it away from her. It's three times to four times her size. I'd like to see you try. Well, I'm half elf and half demon. Should you be telling this to everyone? Uh, Ignore that comment. You okay? She's opening the window. She's out. Not for me. It's not a demon baby? Well, she's not here. You have to ask the lady who has the demon baby. Ouch. Okay. It's like a cop sitting with a little notebook. Oh, and another one of their friends is a city guard. But he's busy. Uh oh. Yes, they did. In the wagon. But uh, I'm just gonna keep this, this information. I'm working with them. I need the money. I don't get paid much. You're an elf. I mean a uh, a fairy. 
A fairy, you, you're, you don't need that much. Uh, okay. Well, you don't eat that much if you're about that tall. I can lift probably the same amount as you. Actually, you, you, you might think so, but he's also got an incredible and, and beyond normal strength. Sorry. You can probably get matched most humans, though. I am oh. close to human, it seems. Like the low end of human. Yeah. For something that's only six in, six inches tall. Devin, I will take a little piece. Brownie. water, that's why. out of my mouth. Um, the ship is a large passenger style with a shark tooth emblem of the Lefande family painted on the sides giving the passenger an oddly predatory look. Private booths with curtains are available on the inside. There's a huge floor that's just like pa for passengers. Yes, I'm going to smart ass on chat. I can see that because I'm watching the chat. Okay. okay. I'm also kind of being me. So you guys all get on the boat. They're loading up your guys' uh, gear. Well, does anyone have loading gear? Well, you have that bag of gold. Are you just going to carry that with you everywhere? Well, the bag. They don't know what's in it. I yes. tell you, you didn't label it with a big gold symbol. I'm not going to bring all my weaponry with me, but I'll make a list of what I picked up. <sighs> well, do it fast. I am. Okay. Everyone make an intuition roll. Two dice six plus your intuition. Eight plus, um, that would be your... Oh, IQ, sorry. <laughs> IQ? Yeah. Yes. Sixty-two. Your IQ. IQ <clears throat> Hidden numbers. Twenty is what I got. Okay. Did you get mine? Or you yes. Okay. Well, <clears throat> mostly two of you. But all three of you see, one of you is just too busy watching the, the, these three. You're not really paying attention, I guess, to the other passengers. You're busy watching the ones you know, and they're already dangerous to look enough. You're talking about killing babies and having demon babies. Teeth! Okay, you notice a short woman dressed entirely in white and gray skins who takes a seat behind you. She looks alertly around the cabin constantly fingering the various animal icons on the leather thong around her neck. Following that are three groups of elven. They're close-cropped hair. You can see a glint of steel between one of its wrists and a black steel chest cuffed to his arms. Towards the rear of the ship is a green-haired young woman appears to be singing every once in a while until you notice and then she brushes, blushes prettily and smiles. And about seven other civilian-like merchants doesn't see anything that stands out in the room as well as, let's see, two couples board the shuttle or board together 
It takes uh, a cabin up behind you, or it's kind of like I said, it's a booth. Uh, they're clean cut in the language. They sound like they speak. Uh, does anyone speak troll? Uh, troll? You just have fairy in common, Morgan. Trollish. Yeah, I know this. Just trollish? You're trollish? Yeah. Wow. You get to speak it. Well, from what you can tell... I have the same. Okay. Those of you that have troll, this will be actually a nice bonus for you guys. Uh, that was an un unexpected. They... You screwed up my story! No. <laughs> they behave... Actually, what sounds at first kind of like you're not sure, but actually it ends up sounding quite affectionate towards each other. So, and then a frazzled middle-aged woman comes down the aisle, leaning or leading forward a young, looks like orc child, by the hand. He seems to be ashamed of his appearance. He's kind of trying to hide and look away. One of the other hurt human pastors, one of the civilians, points out that a child and says something to his companion, who bursts out laughing. And then the, uh, they start telling you guys, get ready, get sit down, get comfortable. We gotta start up. It's fine once we get out in the main waters. But at first, we may bump into the docks a couple times. So, get comfortable first. Uh, Lord. <laughs> or you can just fly. And, I don't know. Can, when a fairy flies in the boat... <laughs> I'm going to sit down, obviously. Okay. I want to draw attention to myself as well as it takes a lot of effort to stay in the sky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sit on somebody's shoulder. You sit on the table or one of the benches? Or you can sit on the table. Or she could sit on Raina's shoulder. That too. I'm standing on the table. Okay, he's like, no, I don't know you that well. I'm not standing on the I table. I am going to go find out what... I'm not a parrot. I'm going to go find out what the fuck they said about that kid. Uh, okay. So you get up and go walking over to who? The guy that, like that said something? Yeah. Well, uh... Go over to the guy. It's a human. Looks up at you. I don't know you. No, but it's not nice to make fun of children, especially by their looks. So what'd you say? Said something about, look at that little ankle biter. You know, like they call kids all the time, but literally this guy, since he's an orc, he could bite someone's ankle. Like I could bite your face off? I guess. I didn't know Dark Elves did that, but I've heard some strange things. Actually, honestly, I haven't met a whole lot of Dark Elves. I assume you like elves, but you don't go out in the sun. This guy's full of a wealth of, like, ignorant information, apparently. And he doesn't even know how stupid he is. Well, keep your fucking mouth shut. Okay. I remember short temper too. At least that checks. This is gonna be a long ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm laughing at what my friend said. Marina. I'm gonna have a cold. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my friend said they want me to take my gold and hit them with it. Yeah, here's some gold. Smash. Oops, I killed another one. Okay. One of the elderly elves cries out sharply. And you know, you, oh, wait. First of all, why do I have a blue on the screen? Oh, it's probably something else. It's, not, it's garbage. It's not the wrong screen i got to worry about. No. no. So it appears on my camera screen, and like everyone sees it, and it's like that's embarrassing. Okay. So everyone roll a die six to see how everything goes. Or actually, let's just do two die six roll plus your decks. You want to break 20. Make sure you don't fall off a seat or something. It's what? No, what? That's two die six plus your decks. Decks. 22. Okay, you made it. 52. You made it. 24. You're good. If you roll a one and a two, it's a fumble. Holy shit. Did it kick in? Okay, we'll stop if you feel it already. 37. 
<laughs> yeah, go. Are you that good? Stopped me from going into a full on seizure. Okay, but 37. And yes, they are. Okay. You can't really taste the yeah. Especially Everyone high. succeeds in not falling on their ass as the boat's taken off. Whee! <laughs> it's only like about a, a three, four. It's kind of like Gilligan's Island. Uh, for a, what was it? Three I was hour tour? watching that earlier. Three hour tour. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, actually, it actually is about three hours to get to the island. So it's not got that the ship long. Wrecked on an uncharted desert isle. The reason why the seats are <laughs> the uh, booths are so big is when they have trolls. They pull the 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 table out, and the troll just sits there. Trolls are just huge. And they just get bigger as they get older. The main, the smaller, they're smaller, and then they just keep getting bigger. They come in sizes. Did you see what I was doing? Yeah. yeah. I saw from the corner of my eye. <laughs> so, um, as you're traveling along, I'll say we're going to make a luck roll to see if you notice yeah, anything sorry. weird. Luck plus two dice six. Double. Double add and roll again. Do what? And what? Like two Luck and two dice six. Doubles add and roll again. Ten. Plus ten. And here. Plus okay. three. Twenty-four. Okay, that's first level. Oh. Morgan. What'd you get? hundred and fourteen. The fuck? Oh, how did that happen? We'll just say you made it. Okay. okay. She rolled doubles. Yeah, I, I did too. What'd you get? Ninety-nine. See, you didn't get over a hundred. What'd you get? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Other people are higher levels, but you'll get there after three hundred points. You get to the next level. Know, my luck is ten plus I rolled doubles, which was another ten. Twenty. <laughs> plus I added four to it. Twenty-four. Oh. It's my first level. The calculator got it wrong then. Yeah, it does it sometimes. <laughs> oh, I know what it was from. It still had Bill's 44 on it. And it went from there, maybe? Yes. Okay. Okay. You guys made it then, so you are not surprised. You see <laughs> four trolls in a armor come wandering in. As one of them Starts dropping smoke balloon or sp smoke bombs in the room. Should we be worried about that? Okay. One of the elderly elves cries sharply in distress and bolts for a deeper storage. The lady that was behind you looks a little pale and pulls something from over the other pouches and swallows it. Suddenly, there's an explosion. The smoke explosion. That's about where it happened. You guys saw him first. And dense, acrid smoke fills the cabin. You hear someone in the room yell, Pirates, we're being attacked! I attack! Okay. Run out of the room, you all run towards the fighter away from it. Well, first of all, let's check the rolls. Uh, first roll was 28, Fox. I'm gonna fight. Fight? Mm -hmm. Okay, what weapon are you using? Uh, I brought my. Well, actually, because of smoke, he's kind of stuck with hand to hand. Yeah, I brought, I brought my uh, battle axe and my magical sword. Well, pick one. What one are you ba using? Battle axe. Take all your dice. And go ahead and roll combat. Same with, uh, if anyone that's physically attacking, roll. You, know, you, you said you were leaving the room? Uh, I drew my sword and left the room. Because okay. I'm tiny, I'm going where the smoke is at, at the bottom of the room. Got it. Okay. No, that's fine. It makes sense. These are big old trolls. I lost my. These are like ten foot so trolls. I'm gonna go with my garrot. They're gonna to you. Ouch. Fuck me. You ruined my vacation. Seven. Yeah. Well, I should mention. I was up to fifty-five. Rolling good on doubles. It doesn't count on attacks. Okay. Um, 68. I should mention, the first round, there's only one by you, because of smoke. 68. 
Are you all attacking the same one, or are you trying to spread them out? Um, I guess attacking the same one. Okay. Yeah, that works. Well, except for you, Morgan. You left the room. <laughs> well, she's at the front. They were at the front of the room. You were deeper at the room at the table. Yeah. The smoke bombs got through in the room, filled the room with smoke. You dropped below the smoke and headed the same way that the uh, elf headed, towards the back. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to figure out what that is. Okay. 136. Holy crap. 136. Ow. I should get that. I lost my broadsword last time, so I don't have that anymore. <laughs> but I have my garrote, though. Okay. You could have had it. Well, you should have stopped and bought a broadsword. I know. I forgot that. <laughs> you have 100 gold, or 1,000 gold. Can I give her one? Because I've got three of them. Sure. Yeah, you got one now. Oh, good. Okay, what'd you roll? Actually, I got four. So 68. I got three. 68. And what'd you, you roll? So you haven't rolled yet. I haven't rolled yet, because I'm... What are we adding? Oh, our combat points, right? Yeah. And oh, No, it, well, it's, it's the combat points and the dice needed for your level. Okay. But it's two dice plus your... Well, what's your level? Well, what, what do you roll for we your weapon here? For broadsword, is it four plus dice? Sir. Three plus, plus four, yeah. Okay, get three dice, and then what level are you? I am a level three. Add three more dice. Oh my yep, take all three. Whoa, whoa. It adds the fun to it all. So now you have a sword. Yeah. Yay! You're double She's like, hey, I do have a sword. <laughs> she draws it from your your back. Hey, I got a sword. I found a sword. What'd you get? I'm still editing up my things. And we feel so cool. Mm -hmm. Place it with the garbage? Yeah. This is a boring part of the game. Getting 29. The numbers. 29. You guys killed hey, that poor orc or oh. troll. But it took all three of you to do it. Actually, you went a little bit overboard on it, but still. Who? Oh. No, total. We all all three of you on the one or or the one troll. You guys took him down that round. That leaves three others in the room. The fuck? As what? one of them yells, um, make sure, make sure I have the right Wee! Answer. This is fun! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna get my ass here. We know they came on this boat, so they have to be here. I'm gonna do it again! And another one yells, yeah, how many dark elves are there? I'm vorpal blading your sword. Okay. Well then, first I say at the beginning of the round, okay, you took off with the other guys. Are you following the other elf, Morgan? Yeah. Okay. And you're at the end. Actually, since we've got a new encounter, let's roll new encounter um, churns. Two dice six plus everyone's speed. Holy shit. Speed. Fifteen for Enya. Thirty-eight. 
24. 24. 24. For me. Sorry. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> no, it's all <laughs> <right>. so low. <coughs> it's what? Hey, Guido. You what? Two dice six plus your speed. Guido, baby. Hey, meow. Then you can add double. Can you bring your mascot back? Yes. We need our mascot. Kitty, kitty, meow, meow. One second, I'm going to get some water. Okay, you get some water. I have to get these people more wine, probably. Do you want more wine or are you good? I'm good for now. Okay. I'm speed. also good for now. I don't want to add to... No, you're good. My medicine? Yes. Medicine and alcohol. 38. Match. 38. But after game, we can have some more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she got fired in the nose again? Mine booted out. Huh? What what? The game's still running. What's your per? What what's your battery percentage? Forty. Mine's sixty. So I'm oh, good. Oh fuck! I need to plug it. It's okay. Let go! Give me! Give me! She has power back there. Can I have a couple cookies though? Yes. And the magic. How many door? would you like? Three. Three, four. please. Okay. Yes. Thank I'm you. I'm not sure if. This counts as current one, usage of the phone box. <laughs> well, it, I know it's fine. It's fine. It saves space. I don't have our our uh, phone problems. Okay. Well then, first we have entering into the next round. Um, first is Edo and Fox. Whee! I I did mine and I got one eighty nine. Okay, you're attacking. There's three of them coming in. They're kind of. Do you guys split up or how? We're gonna attack all at once. Wanna why? Big mass. Wanna why? Wee! Cause it's fun. Okay, 189 <laughs> plus you. Everyone do your combat rolls. I'll roll mine. <laughs> mine right there. So I gotta roll all my dish. Yep. Yay! It's rolling a lot of dice. Well, I'm gonna have to roll. Doubles. Three times doubles. <laughs> you know, like we say many times, you know this game's nerdy when when you do math for fun. Yes. Yeah. Mine? Bill is five, I am five, Reina is three. She was one just a few games ago, so you'll catch up. It takes so many points to go up a level. After a while, people catch up. What did you get? One What did you get? I have to roll because I got three times the doubles. Game pull is almost 200. Minus his number. Minus your number. What'd you get, Ado? Um, actually, I'm adding all of ours up together. Oh, okay. I got 45. All together, we got 329. Oh, I should have brought my bruise. Guido, baby, come here, kitty. Come here, mama. My left. Or my right arm starting to Hey, all in. three of you. <laughs> Come here. Uh, I got How are you guys with 13 points Come of here. damage apiece? 13? Yeah. Uh, on our... Your armor. What's your armor? I am got I got that full armor on mine. You have like, what, 50-something? Yeah. Oh, it's over all like that. <laughs> you are uh, such a uh, shit. Guido! It was like... Oh, Guido saved my item more. That was the highest. There was that real Guido. high on that. No, 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 no. She says, yeah, I can walk on it. Watch this. Yeah, but we don't want her hanging up on yourself. I walks where I want. I yeah. could take 20. You're good. And how much is it your defense? It doesn't even affect me. Because you just picked up the, the armor. And I just took the armor. Mine's like 50. I just got a whole bunch of new armor. Can What's his guys? armor? What's her armor? Uh... Seven. Plus seven total? I guess right down plus seven. What did you say? Because I have better quick cat as you can see on the stream when I 
구요. 구요 don't care. 구요 is not a cat, is a fan, a fan of the cat. What, baby? Slump hangs up on <laughs> Yeah, I remember that was that armor was like the, the best you could get. No, that's get. fine. Basically, no one took damage, but they didn't come close. You guys were losing ground. These things are big and hit hard. These are full-size trolls. They're like ten and a half feet tall. Well, we should try and take them out again. Why are they looking for us, though? No, just you. They, yeah, they're looking for Druaz, Druaz or Drow elves. Why? Dark Elves. Why? Do you ask him? Yes. Who said we were looking for you? We're pirates. You just said I know the drows came on the ship. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> you totally did. <laughs> and I can vouch you that I heard it. And one of the other ones look at you two, or look at each other, look at the trolls, and everyone stop fighting. They're like, well, how are we going to convince everyone that they were assassins if we just drop it? You guys are trying to frame us. you got to die. Why? Everyone says, we still need the bag of evidence. I'm going to boom bomb that fucking bag. Okay. Do it. Magic. Our brother's going to boom bomb something. It's been done. Okay, what'd you roll? At least first level. Oh, my wizardry? Yeah. Well, boom bomb's what, first level? Yeah, but... Well, it only takes first level roll to succeed. 27. That makes it. Okay. Well, then. Bag booms! Doesn't do a lot of damage, but the bag is gone. And a bunch of stuff falls out. Looks like maps, um, rope, uh, bow, arrows, jars of poison that broke. Really? How many left are there? Three. Fucking, let's go. Fritz, Mickey, and Hildy. I pulled out my bow and one of my poisonous arrows and I fire at him. Okay. Hit with my sword. Roll. Uh, how many? Uh, first you gotta roll 2-6 to hit and you only Ooh. get a first level because they're huge! Really? I got three times the doubles again. And you only roll... Just this one. Just two? Those two. You only re-roll those two. Okay. Just two to, to get them? What? When I fire the arrow. Oh, you just need a first level. You just need to roll 20. 2 dice 6, roll 20. Don't don't fumble, basically, I think. Did so, you have better so skills be than that? My what? Wait, yeah, you're, po you're point blank range, pretty close. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's two, 2 dice and what? Plus your dex. My dex? Or an archery skill if you have it. Which I don't think you do. No, 26 and. <laughs> no skill. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling really good. I still don't know. That's all right. It's, it's an optional piece. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need an egg to survive. 26. And Just, you know, some connection. I got 37. 37. 35. 35 year old? Yeah. Okay. Didn't know. Could you get me a little Hit with your coffee? arrow. And then after that roll, everyone do their rolls. Give me a second. What are you doing? Okay, wait. Before, well, you guys roll. You guys roll. Morgan. Thank you. You're running back into the supply area following the elf. Do I see her? Huh? Do I see her? Yes. It's the one that has the chain to the chest. He's running off with the chest to protect it. I'm going to yell in a very uh, authoritative Six. Uh, what did you swallow? Um, and why are they here? Um, what do you want to use? 
Yeah. You can ask the player here because uh, she's not the one that's swallowed the stuff. That was the other girl. All of their lives. Alright. So you gotta mix together. Okay. Uh, can I use intimidation? Roll. Well, you have you don't have an intimidation. Roll charisma roll. Yeah. Two dice six plus your charisma. Twenty-five. I got him. Uh, so what? Twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. Second level roll, actually. Um. She stops and turns in a shock to see such a small person. What is it, we won? Uh, I want to know why the people throwing smoke bombs into a ship. I'm sorry. And you're running off very suspicious. I sensed them coming. I sensed danger. And I am a guardian of this box. Well, it's more important that I get this box safely away from anyone. The safest you can be is in the battle with us. Just come back and we'll sort this out. My okay. Weapon's drawn, my weapon's drawn, though. <laughs> it's hard to put your weapon away. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm holding it. Okay. You pitch it, you kind of hold it like a, like a spear. It has a spear handle and the blade just kind of sticks off huge. Same size as a short sword, but with a handle and a counterweight to help you balance it. Yeah. My ankle hurts. It's made in the uh, fairylands. It's the biggest one they have. She's trying to make up for something. Give me the biggest swords you have. I'm going to give you two ones that do my... No! I need a big one! Samarita from Brave. I don't know why. I just got that idea. Okay. Um, let me quickly roll for the combat in there. Okay. I'm telling that person to come back with me, though. Okay, yeah. You are. And you're trying to sound very authoritative about it. Get over there, or I'll kill you. Uh, I do have a blade. I, I will hurt you. I'll stab you in the nose. I'll I will bite your ankles. What'd you roll for damage? Or a bo archer? Uh, for when I fired? Uh huh. 118. And that's with ma with the magic? Uh, with, with the, the poison effect? Yes. Ah, uh, damn it. He killed one. All the way down. Ow. So, what's your guys' attack? Uh, both of us together, 139. <laughs> Apparently he's liking her. No. <laughs> I was staying in combat. I mean. Well, yeah, you have to you have to run up there and do one point damage. Aha! How much can you take? Me? Yeah, because you're still within range. You didn't run back. His armor's like sixty something. That's what I thought. What's yours? Twenty. What's yours? Seven. Seven. Sixteen. Ooh. She's down. Did you fall down? I guess I can go down. Okay. Not unconscious, you just well you're unconscious, you're not dead. Yeah. You know I do have a healing potion. Not a blood potion! <laughs> a healing potion. How much do you Huh? You throw it on her? Whoa, she's throwing moss! Ado can heal me if he wants. Well, yeah, but that has to happen next round. Hmm. She That's falls now. down. The two trolls are too big for the two of you to take alone. Silver. 
He fired his bow last round, leaving the... Get your broadsword out. Let's take these two bastards down. Uh, didn't bring the broadsword. I brought the magic sword. <laughs> I didn't bring the broadsword. What do you want now? Middle of combat. <laughs> Got the battle axe. Will that be good enough? Yes! Okay. They're having a discussion about weapons in the middle of combat. It's like Captain America. They can read you the Constitution between blows. Everyone who's conscious, make your rolls. And she's coming back. You come back to see these two alone fighting two trolls. Once on the two are on the ground. Going to fly up and help attack them. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack roll in. Three dice six. Three dice six. being crazy seven. kitty. Plus your personal adds of seven. Yep. Okay. If you roll doubles on your three dice six, you add and roll it again. Okay, so you add that, so it's 10 points, and you add and roll again. What'd you... Still count. 30. 30 from the ferry. Nice uppercut slash. What are you doing? This little ferry comes flying in with a blade. They don't mind you joining, they kill them off as fast as they come. Huh? 112. You're the third fairy they've known. You're like, I know, that's the issue. Yeah, that's why I'm sitting here. It's one minute. You got the fairy? Huh? What'd you roll, Morgan? What'd you roll? 30. 30. Okay, give me your numbers. 255. And I miss the fairy. Fairy too damn small to hit. Just a sword flying. Who has the magic sword? 44 to both of you. Mine's over 63, so I'm good. Okay, you take damage, you're out. The enchanted sword is laughing. Even with your armor? What's your armor set at? 20. Oh. How many rounds have we been? Three. Three? Or four. Three? Entering fourth? She's in her yeah. crazy kitty mode. And good. Mode. Um, at that point, the uh, lady who threw something into her mouth uh, just uh, suddenly jumped up like a bear and came attacking one of them. You know, took her from behind. And the two elves, or not two elves, the uh, two they're speaking troll seems to uh, be coming forward with some uh, sword canes, although these two are trolls. So they're good size sword canes. Bigger than what I everything I got. <laughs> and the old lady and the child start running the direction the others ran. But that means you have only one left, though. So you have one to fight. You and the fairy. Silver Fox and the Fairy are all that's left. All I see is up Morgan's nose. <laughs> and all my money up his nose and goes. <laughs> so how many more? Yeah, was my money. One. There's only one left? Yep. I said enough. I'm pulling out the uh, the poison arrow. you going to try to do that. Make a dex roll. Dex roll? Yep. Hi, 
26 plus 5 plus 6 oh God, equals 37. 37? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you made it then. It's a mini moon pie. Moon pies! Okay, so you now. Uh, you haven't rolled yet. Mm. Yeah, well, I Just roll your uh, damage. For your bow, for your arrow. Okay, with my bow, I do. All of them. Okay. Okay. Because you still get your level bonus. Since you're five, you get five dice damage. That's what I want for Valentine's Day. A box of cosmic brownies. <laughs> Thanks, your boyfriend's all map. I'm going to. Oh! Guess what matter for you guys? We'll, we'll skip that. I was supposed to have the ship rocking and rolls on decks. Per round. Yeah, relative to a bird. That raises that full philosophy question. If you have a plane, or if you have a truck that weighs a thousand pounds, and you have a hundred pounds of birds in it, but during the entire time driving on the scale, the birds are flying, how much does the truck weigh? 900 pounds. It's, it's, it's one of those philosophy questions. It actually should weigh 1,100 pounds. The fact that they're flying or not doesn't make a difference because they're within attained space and their weight carries through the air. That's the theory. I wonder. You know? <laughs> 110. 110 total. What'd you roll, fairy? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to swing again. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going. You're attacking while he's firing an arrow. 22. What? 22. Got it. Going. Oh, you take six points, Silver Fox. Even with the armor? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he drops from a poison arrow and the uh, elf or the fire fairy hitting him with his sword. And the big guy falls. So, saying that, we got one. Nope. One. Nope. One. Two. One. Well, that makes it easy. She's. Save myself a lot of work there. Everyone takes 100 experience points. Ooh. Now, you want to help people get up? Well, you'll have to help that wake that one up, and that one's going to wake. Well, you can wake everyone up to one point. They can help that on the ship. Don't worry about it. They come around trying to get everyone up, help them out. They apologize about the whole issue. But you can tell under his breath because he's saying it in troll and no one else can hear it. He is complaining about people that cannot speak the language. I can speak it! What? He looks a little shocked. On um, troll? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's weird. Can you write down my 100 XP? Yes. Thank you. Good point. You need 300 for your next for your level, so you need 200 more. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Um, what kind of wings do fairies have in your world, and do they let off light, or are they just plain like bugs, essentially, but with humanoid bodies? Bugs. Bugs are more like pixies. Okay. Uh, well, fairies can have no uh, more elaborate wings than that. If they have wings, they're the big butterfly type, or gonna, bird type. They're going to be the, the blue-black um, uh, butterfly wings, the ones they eat uh, flesh. Oh. oh, you're talking about the, the butterfly? Yeah, the type of butterfly. Yeah, well, both of your wings don't eat flesh. No, 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 but the, they're the, the <laughs> color and everything. They're yeah. Blue, they're, it's like dark blue. Okay. That dark blue that eats flesh. No, I eat the flesh. Okay. <laughs> no one said they couldn't be carnivores. Yeah. Also, 
the last shot, there's two arrows you find stuck in the uh, troll. Someone else was helping. Yeah, but you don't know who. Now that's just unfair. I don't want to share XP. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with people I don't know. Exactly. Okay. Well, yeah, but you know, apparently these people are really easy to expect. Be well, except for they have fairies. They j fairies actually join them, like, on a regular basis, and then they're never seen again. I know, that's why you're here. Slammed um, Cristalia again. Eidos! Everyone roll a die six! Five. Good. Three. Good. One. One. Ooh, what'd you roll? Six. Morgan? Six. Okay. You rolled a one though. You rolled two die six. Roll two to die six. Five. Five. Five? Yep. That's what I got. Five. Not a five. Yes, a five. Okay. Is a five good? I don't know yet. Where Roll. I think it's a die six. Roll a die six. Again? Yep. Five. Five. Yeah. I hit my glasses. So if you're wondering what you missed on that slam that I did to, on Cristalia, he's like, you guys are more loose-lipped on everything else, but tight-lipped on other things. I'm like, just like Cristalia, loose-lipped. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Loose lips. Is that a thing? Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Now even the even the fairy gets it. Okay. Well, you guys keep going for a while. Now, what you rolled is you walked up and uh, you're like, carrying your stuff, getting ready, pulling your bag of gold or your big bag, carrying it on your shoulder. Oh, God, shoulder. this thing's heavy. Over my shoulder. As a, uh, a guy that looks like a werewolf, but he's wearing armor. Comes walking onto the, the boat in front of you. He's going to stumble. Like a probe here. Who he you? looks around. He growls. Uh, he makes a kind of a almost growl gurgle sound. Never had to put one down. Look at <laughs> it's a wolfen. He uh, hands his ticket to the person that comes walking up, and he goes walking by you guys and goes to sit down. I keep my eye on him. Okay. But it's time to get off the boat. Me and you know that's prejudice, right? <laughs> <laughs> the fairy tells you. I nonchalantly walk off the boat. <laughs> Retracting my statement. <laughs> I just thought he was cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. As you guys are getting off the boat, um, met by one, someone that just kind of tells you your uh, stuff's being loaded up onto the wagons. You see three wagons. They're like three to four times of any wagon size you've seen. Apparently, the size also so a troll's riding them. Damn, that's a big bitch. 
Yeah, so you can carry like 12 people in one wagon. Yeah, just a just a buzzload of fairies. So fairies like those stories where like the clowns they just come out of a car and they just keep coming out. <laughs> they come out of a wagon. Did we turn into a circus now? A fairy circus. <laughs> what? Hookers? <laughs> Um, they, they will ask you before you go, though, in a thick troll accent, but they're trying to speak English. Um, did you know those gentlemen? What, the ones that attacked us? Well, yes, the ones you fought and killed. No. Okay, we had a report that they, uh, said they were looking for you guys. Well, one that slipped that they were trying to scream us. Yeah. Well, there was only two. Huh? Yes. That's what they said. They were trying to frame us. Yeah, we heard reports of that too, so. First, I'm going to need a list of all your names, though, just to be sure. I can turn into the Baron. He's going to want to report on the situation. Captain Gerald Fitzgerald. <laughs> Is that what you say? Yeah. They write it down. Okay, the rest of you? I don't know. Okay. And a last name or just the first? Cronda Root. Okay, and you are right up. Surname, I wrote it down as well. I was going to say more Tiffany. Oh, you say Tiffany? Yes. Okay. Me? Yes. I just give them my, everybody knows me, so I just give them my regular name. Silver Fox? Yeah. I see. Is that like a, a title or a name? <laughs> Look. It's his stage name because he's fabulous. Marvelous darling. <laughs> Marvelous. Yes. A lot of people use good surnames. Oh, please. But he he wears it like a title. I am Silver Fox. First name. He might be a Silver Fox. How old is he? That's... He's an I... elf. It was a joke because they usually have white hair. Yeah. I don't know what color hair you have. White. White. <laughs> 105. Damn you, youngin. But you guys are 105. I'm 109. He am only 32. You guys are only a few years older than me. Just shows how much of delinquents you are. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you, Rena? Excuse me. Yeah, 32. That's what it is. You're a baby. You also just mentioned her name in front of the and she lied about her name in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sorry. thanks! Now I'm getting in trouble. Hey, look, she says, is that a middle name or a first name? Middle name. Okay. I call her Raina because I don't like her first name. She's my okay. little sister. Okay. This is a good bunch of adventurers. I like these people. Oh, no, no, so, walking up comes a ogre. <laughs> Female ogre. Oh boy. Stranger. Oops. <laughs> this, uh, and in common, she says, this wagon train runs on time. Flash dress nobility of an ogre. And, uh, And uh, she's making sure everyone's getting their stuff loaded up right. And once she turns her back, I'm going to go... Can you make a honking figure? <laughs> the the fairy's going to do it too, but it'll just be nipples. <laughs> Why are you killing Lynette? <laughs> about that big round. Ain't I want booby! <laughs> Bigger than your 
your entire face. Come on now. <laughs> I can unhinge my jaw. What you talking about? <laughs> so, at the wagon zone. So, teeth wouldn't be fun. Someone else, uh, there's a flashy dressed noble and his female companion walk up, and there are three hunting hounds. Please, says the man baring his teeth at uh, the ogres, an enormous smile. Name's Hadro. This is Sheila. We're dog trainers. He points at the dogs. People come forward and take the dogs and load them into the oh. second wagon. <laughs> he leans closer towards you guys because he's not a troll, he's human. And says, these trolls are pushovers for hunting dogs, especially man killers. But we don't do any of that stuff. Our dogs are strictly pure. No siding claws or venom glands or any of those other strange breeds. <laughs> right? Well, they are cute, but, you know, some nations don't accept them in, in the uh, pits. Yeah, but some of them are pussies. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh, you're a hilarious one. And him and the lady head over towards the wagon to get in. Some other passengers are locals, farmers, and factory hands, and for the looks of them. And they start filling the wagon with you guys. The conductor is increasingly exasperated and snappish, especially with foreigners who don't understand the Bavarian troll dialect. If you speak troll, though, they will be a little happier with you. Those two of you that do, boop! He learned how to say boobs and troll. Nod. I just say nod. Like, just keep nodding. Yeah. Just nod, like you know what they're saying, right? So, everyone lines into the wagon and starts rolling down the street towards the town that's before, below the castle of Most, uh, Munch, Mouse, Munch Mouse. Which one has the softest head and could deal with a sword on their back? To their back? <laughs> the fluffy one. <coughs> well, of what, these people? I land on Silver Fox. He seems like the one that's taken the least amount of damage and didn't die. So you're gonna stick him in with your sword or what? Nah, I'm just sitting. Okay. Just kinda of sitting my shoulder, huh? No, top of the head. You have you have a very, very uh, uh, penile length fairy on your head. You have a six inch fairy on your head with a two and a half foot sword. I am very outspoken. I don't care. <laughs> don't mind Ado. He likes to make his sister laugh. Giant. Boobs! <laughs> You're lucky I wasn't drinking my coffee. <laughs> she summoned water. She ran off to the bathroom. <laughs> no more brownies for me tonight. <laughs> she scared people. What time we got? 8.45. <coughs> We're still doing the, what have we been playing an hour? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Um, as you guys are rolling along, bouncing along there, finally comes to a stop. Then uh, five... Soldiers, get on. Uh, with their unbuttoned uniforms, blood and food stained clothing, unwashed, unshaven faces. They are particularly unresputable. The conductor looks more confused than usual as he orders grunts. Uh, tells the uh, men that, you know, he's not, they're not, don't involve their uh, train in their revolt. Just turn around and get off. Mm -hmm. And the soldiers are yelling. This is all in trolls, so that's why you guys are understanding. Otherwise, you wouldn't know they're grunting. Yeah. I the others are just here for everyone's money. And then they will leave with it, and they won't hurt anyone. Is this a robbery? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. 
No! Uh, but no, wait. I don't want to be You don't lost. speak trolls, so you're just looking at what their their face is. Shall we? We shall. Okay, the fairy say, says it's a robbery, probably. Shall we? You guys just attack? Yes. Well, who's attacking? I guess these two are just jumping at them. Uh, the fo Silver Fox and Edo. I'm on top of Silver Fox, so I'm going to start swinging. Okay. <laughs> Brandon's not even paying So roll attention. your attack. I pull out my double bladed yep. axe. Minus 14? Or you rolled a 14? 14, yeah. Well, I'll wait till you get, you get the full number or individual? Individual. Okay. Okay. 103. Okay. What'd you get? She's not paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Raina's not paying attention. Okay. No one woke her up? Nope. Okay. Nope, she's still sleeping. By a pirate for crying out loud. By a what? Oh, pirate. <laughs> for crying you out said loud. a parrot. For crying out loud. <laughs> pirate. Wah! There, I cried out loud. Yeah, that's why she's he's sitting on heads, not shoulders. Don't hear me asking for no goddamn crackers. 132. Okay. Uh, you can roll for it. We're going to have a lot of them. Okay, okay, just start your next roll. It'll save us from waiting. You hurt. I guess you should go for each of them. Let's just divide it out. Okay. They took a little damage. But a very little damage. Guido, what are you doing? She's playing with a plastic being bag. She's looking for a place to pee. No. <laughs> She's being a cat. Being nosy? Let her have her fun as a cat. No, she must have her fun as an, a platypus. Nope, it's come to steal a library book that got taken. It hasn't been turned in. Uh, oh boy! And then leave this vase that's in the uh, that you've seen being tr being put from the with your supplies yeah. to leave that at the place. Uh, so it's probably it's they said it's harmless. That's what they always say. One nineteen, in the next round. One thirty. I had doubles. Tons of doubles. 119? 22. Okay, now these are smaller trolls. These ones are only about almost like your height, maybe five height, five feet or six feet. I'd say the, the humans. Not it's not an elf, a fairy sized one. It's called a tro. No L. It's too short for an L. No. <laughs> so uh, they're still up though, but they're losing slowly, ever so slowly, like by digits, single digits. We go again. Combat rolls, everyone. Oops, not that, not that. Three dice. Try to do that last time too. Okay. 
Fourteen. One eighteen. Okay, now how much was that for Silver Fox? 118. And Nato? 120. And not you. <laughs> I'm still out. Eight, what'd you get, Morgan? 14 for this one, and I got. Uh, well, hold on. We haven't done the next one. Just keep your number. I'm safe in Okay. My neck is sweaty. <laughs> um, so you guys are kind of fighting these guys kind of even as far as just doing a little bit of damage at a time. Because there's five of them. And they're all they're at two apiece they can get to you guys. They couldn't get 3D at a time though. Uh, well, you have the language thing, though. Charlie I was just, just checking ahead. I'm going to tell them that they need to get off this uh, wagon. Um, well, one of the farmers yells something. He just weren't paying attention. But the guy in front of you yells for the guy to get back or he'll, they're going to kill everyone in the train. You have to pay your tax for crossing the border. How much is a stupid tax? I'm not paying tax. <laughs> I agree with the fairy. Hmm? Those are the two with money. <laughs> okay, at that point. Did we ever search the bodies of those people we killed? No. We didn't do that. The pirates? The pirates were grabbed by the people that were uh, the sailors and just taken off the ship. So you kind of didn't have time. <laughs> so you guys are dividing up their treasure. We're not even dead yet, you asshole! I'm gonna go up a level on this one. Okay, then you start hearing the the rattle of swords outside in the distance. Well, outside. Well, if they answer my stupid freaking question. Well, I'm just telling you what you're hearing in the room. But yes, I'll get back to that. They're like, uh. Hundred gold. Um, fuck no. I am out. I am out. I'm gonna have to draw on the bottom. Race me. Race and draw on the bottom. <laughs> Tell you what. I have to get Idea for when I get the game. Put myself. If we give you the gold. Or we'll let you go. And if we don't. Then we're gonna have to beat you up and take your money. We got you outnumbered. Doesn't look like anyone else in this train's helping you. In this wagon. Uh, how many are outside? Oh, we have about ten people here on the other wagons. They're unloading them right now. We just came into the passage here to get a little extra money. We'll just keep your stuff, maybe. Let's kill them all. Yep. And you're hearing the sword fighting outside. I'm going to boom bomb one of them. Do it. In the vehicle. And one of the guys standing next to you came in with the dogs. Says something about they're killing the dogs when he hears the fighting. I'm going to boom bomb. And he's gonna, he starts to just run in the middle of the fight. Um, <clears throat> his problem. Guys, uh, take this? Take what? Got the dog. Huh? in the room, we have to help the guy with the, his dog. 
Okay, you guys attack again? Yep. Mm. Okay, roll. I guess I Raina just, can wake up and do up. some fighting. Okay. Right, set one up. So Raina's going to wake up. And I'm, okay. I'm going to use... I'm going to grab my sheet. Cause it's uh, am I able to use a bow? Um, ow. If you use a bow, you have to make sure you fully kill someone, or they still get their attack, and you don't get to have any defense to help everyone else. All right, then I'm... So it goes in both directions. I'll use a battle axe. Okay. 116. Okay. <laughs> Doubles this time. Let me give my roll, which is not going to be as nice, but I got five, four, five of them? Five of them left. Did you already get his? Oops. I don't have anything. I haven't finished mine yet. What'd you get, Rain? I am adding that up right now. Okay. Hold on. I'm... Do you have his? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Hi, table. Hello. <laughs> Is that boogers? Thirty-six. <laughs> All together, three hundred and six. Hey. One goes down. So we do another round of combat. Yeah. But we have one less guy on their side. Shit. Oh, there's something up double. I thought I had no doubles at all. That didn't help any that great, though. 20. One twenty-two. Okay. Did you get that, or you want me to take it? I got. Go ahead and take it. Thirty-six. Yet again. Twenty minus what? Thirty-six. Yep. Minus one forty-one. Okay. Ooh. One went down. So we got ten of these. No, three. There's three left? Yep. I'm just going to sit back. <laughs> you could go help the dogs that they're killing outside. I'll go help the dogs. Okay, you follow the fairy outside? Yes. Fairy, do you go help the dogs? Do you take care of the people in here? Okay. Yep. Alright. Oh my goodness. Then give me the something. big numbers. I think we're getting close. Since it's me and you, Bill, mm -hmm. let me know what your number is. No, I don't want to. Six and eight. I got thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yep. Anyone else? Second. Me and Solar Fox are okay, taking the ones on. They're in the train. A okay. You got a headache. Those two are, you two are, yes.
128. 128. What'd you get? Me and him both? Yeah. 275. I'm going to head down for a little bit. Caffeine overload? Uh, yeah. That's probably it. Okay! Bad! Devin, can you get her a bottle of water? Oh, yeah. Please. Is it like right here? Yeah, it's like right That's here. That's coffee. Okay. Okay. 120. Well, there was one left, but then a six foot pelium comes flying through the uh, window and hits the guy from outside. Okay. You guys that are outside. You guys were fighting people for like one round. Then these uh, larger trolls in different color uniforms came running out and are attacking the guys that were attacking you guys. Okay. I just yelled reverse raid question mark. Reverse raid. What do you guys do? What does everyone do? I go up the dogs. I go up the guy and his dogs. I go f talk. You don't see any dogs anywhere, but you know they were put in the second wagon. Do you want to check on them? Yeah, I, I fly above and over towards it. Okay. It doesn't look like anything's happening with the dogs. The guy may have been wrong. His dogs are hiding inside the wagon. Well, actually, they're barking in the wagon. They'd like to be let out. Would you like to let them out? Make a dex roll, see if you can unlock it. Uh, how many? Two dice six? Two dice six plus your dex. Twenty-three. That's good enough. Uh, you get it unlocked. Because, you know, it's not designed to stop people from unlocking it, just dogs. So you pull it open and they come running out. Amanda, hmm. go like this to your forehead. What do the rest of you do? Just Two of you are in it. the wagon. Two of you are outside the wagon. I I go talk to the bigger trolls and find out. Just get out and nicely talk to them? Mm -hmm. Yes. You come out, they have their more peliums out. They got a lot of peliums. They came out of the like back. This. You put your hands up? Yep. Coming in peace. Yeah. They say in troll, passenger. They ask you, passenger, in troll. <coughs> yes. <coughs> okay. Put your swords away. You're in the Baron's lands now. I put... I don't have them Baron's sword put away. He tells everyone, put their swords away. We're done. Even if no... We'll be right an axe. Does an axe kept Put your axe away. <laughs> done. I have a bow! Put it away! Dead. Okay. I put my sword away. Well, uh, they help clean up the area. They take the guys off there. Apparently, they're revolutionaries. And they like to tax where they can the transport of tourists and trade as it grows in the new land of the Baron in Bavar. So, you guys all go ahead and finish your trip. They're kind of surprised they can say to you and troll. They'll tell you to explain it to those that cannot speak the normal language. Okay. So, pretty much what happened was those were uh, revolutionaries. They were, they were trying to tax everybody. Just for the fuck of it. Well, they're they against the Baron. Money. They want to overthrow the Baron. Ain't gonna work. That's right. So, at this point, actually... They'll load up everything. Mm -hmm. The dogs will have to will be allowed to run around for a little bit, and then they'll load them up. Uh, the dogs take a couple of the guys and start chewing on them that died. <laughs> they tell them trolls are not food. Put that down. I'm sorry, it's food. What's the experience points for taking them down? Oh, you want experience points, do you? Yes. Let's see here. 
No, we just do it for fun. Okay, but also taking the bonus for everything up to this point, because you'll be arriving at the town soon. Everyone takes 250 experience. Morgan just leveled. I mean, yeah, I think Morgan just leveled. I did my 50 points over. Okay. So actually your first level. And what was the you can add one dice to your combat now. Thank you. On your combat, because you're a fighter, you can add another dice to your roll for combat. So yep. Four you're at four die six. Yep. That's a plus one die six every level. And do you want to add it uh, to a stat or a skill? Uh, uh, I want to bring up my con. Okay. Your first level? Yeah. Is it one point then? You add one point to your con. Um, it's nine o'clock, so whoever needs to take meds, take them now, please. Wait a moment. So my con's four, do I get more health? Uh, well, that is your health. Your con is your health. So now you have four points to if you get hit. Nice. So yes, it helps that. Okay. Oh yeah, no, that's understandable. Well, your strength's pretty good. The beefiest fairy there is. Oh yeah. Does that mean like you ate an extra hamburger, you're getting bigger? It's gonna be great. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a human eating fairy. Never said human. <laughs> I didn't specify. Would you like some? There's anyone? Hmm? Would you like some barbecue giggles? Sure. Okay. Well, basically, the wagon pulls in to town. Maybe that will help your headache. The town, the town of Munchmouse. You gotta get past that laugh, don't you? Wait until you meet them. Mm -hmm. At the village wa uh, wagon train platform, female ogre that you saw before, she Mom. calls to you guys by Edo. Um, looks at the list and then yes, Silver Fox pulls it. Okay. Here. Um, she approaches you and nods. Welcome, my my name is Goldie. Slightly uh. Accented English or common. I'm here to welcome you to Munch Moss. <laughs> All your luggage has already arrived and has been loaded, and your accommodations are waiting for you. We will take you to the hotel. Okay. So, you guys, load up. You wait for everything to load up. You wander around or what? They can. I give you a little idea of the town. I'm gonna go get some potions. You wanna look? You wanna look for some potions? I guess Rain is gonna follow her brother. Okay. What you guys look around the town? What you see? You saw, you know, the easy places to find. They're signed and all that. There might be other places. It'd be a little hard to find. Maybe higher prices though, because they're hard to find. There's Saint Gretchen's. This is an ancient Gothic structure. It's a functioning church beautiful, big, huge. 12 to 20 foot ceilings because it's for large people. Actually a lot of this town looks like it's built for uh, a larger species. Probably trolls. The Munch Boston <laughs> Town Hall. Another old structure. This building is crowded with bureaucrats and functionaries who administer Baron Munch Moss's <laughs> realm. Here is where comprehensive records, both on paper and on day, are stored and kept in scrolls or in different forms on every resident in the city. Hotels. Modest resorts, generally boasting less than 20 rooms, pride themselves on elegance. The housemen are in livery and maids in spotless white. And every dinner is a chef's masterpiece. Ch prices are steep, though, naturally. Usually around 10 gold pieces per day. Young hostel or a youth hostel where you can go for a gold a day and sleep six to a room, if that is your problem. I don't know what your merchants, uh, and she looks at you guys as merchants. Maybe you're looking for new trade or something in the area. 
Um, then there's some various shops, but the shops you see are a pipes shop, a clocks store, a sausage store, a jewelry, clockwork toys, and Bavarian costumes. Weapon store is closed. Yeah. All weapons are apparently only by Royal Blacksmith only. All weapon or tools. So, wait, so they can tell us what quality they want to give us? Yeah. Looking around town, besides humans, elves, and the other species, you see some trolls, some orcs, some ogres, some gnomes, some wolfen, and some dragonoids. Hmm? Hey, there's gnomes. You can go talk to the gnomes. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. They're still bigger than you. They didn't make the list. All I heard, all I heard was yeah, gnome. <laughs> gnomes are legal to kill back home. How's your head? Better. Okay, so what we have is you guys are at the town. Can we take a quick break? Cause I guess we can take a little break and then we'll start in the town and uh, see where everyone is, what's going on. Everyone do a bathroom break and all that? Devin needs to take his pills, save a pill. Yep. Hey, Morgan. <laughs> We're taking a quick bathroom break. Well, do what you got to do. Do what you do. It's probably going to be like, what, 10 minutes? 10. At most? So go have a smoke break. I just got a doodle. Sit here and doodle. Sit here and doodle. Doodle! Someone's got to be sure that it's not like a, a dead show, so that if they see someone moving, it looks like something's actually going on. They're wondering. If I do, can anyone ask? Is this a doodle show? I'll just simply tell them I'm doodling. It's a Actually, doodle I'm not movie. on the, I'm not on the chat. I turned off YouTube. The huh? phone's at 44. Oh. No, no, no. Nom, nom, nom. Yes. Maybe she went to... She went back. She probably went to bed or she, maybe she had to go to the bathroom. Hi. Sounds like she had to go to the bathroom. My eyes are dark today. I'm scary and dead looking. <laughs> I'm getting so hyped for the new Kingdom Hearts game. I want to play it so bad. Yes, me and my daughter used to play, well all of us used to play Kingdom Hearts. How about you? I'm just so excited for it because somebody went to a convention that was showing the stuff from Kingdom Hearts 3. And they were showing off a few of the new key blades that you're going to get in the game. Me and my uh, daughter, Anna, we're just watching TV what? today. What was said? I was saying someone on TikTok was at a convention type thing for Kingdom Hearts 3 and was showing the display cases with the new key blades that you're probably going to be getting in the game. Oh, wow. I get it, go on. Get There's it. a Toy Story one that it looks was. like Buzz Lightyear like shit. So I'm getting hyped for the game, and I want to get it so bad. Me and Anna, I think everyone's played it. Well, I know Morgan's played it. He loves the... the um. Who's your favorite Kingdom Hearts character, Morgan? The world of Olympus. That was a fun. That was a fun world to play in. Oh my gosh! And then Phil saying, "Get on the Hydra's back!" When you were fighting it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you're fighting the Hydra, and you have Phil and Meg helping you, Phil will stand up on uh, one of the broken pedestals of the Colosseum. And he'll say, get up on the Hydra's back. And he'll throw a big old 
pot that you can chuck with your keyblade and it lands on the hydra knocking it out. Nice. Um, all that makes me think of is uh, Hannah and my dad and me were in the living room uh, one day. We were watching TV and mm -hmm. it was on a commercial for games. Oh, wow. They, okay. they pointed it out, like Anna pointed it out that she really liked it and then they went and found it. Oh, the first can Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, we were watching the commercial and then we called the uh, store and they hadn't gotten it yet. So we went and pre ordered it. And they said it was going to be in. So what we did is, we, you know, a certain day. So we actually went to the store that day. Because it looked really cool. I have and we asked them, and they're like, no, we don't have it. And we're like, are you sure? We were told it would be in today. And they're like, well, we got in some stuff we haven't looked through yet. We're like, well, we'll wait. Okay, so they went and took it out like they weren't going to do it anyways. And I kind of, we, we, we like said, we're going to walk around the mall. We'll be back in an hour. So when we walked around, we came back. like, I guess the game came in. We're like, damn, yes. So we bought the game and went home. <laughs> and played it. It was an adventure just getting the damn game. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm we so had to wait. I'm excited because it was I, worth I it can't as far wait as I to care. play the new worlds that are going to be in the new game. My only problem with the game is I really don't like the idea of Disney taking over. I don't like Disney. All I can think is Marvel is going to be in there at the Infinity Stones. It's like the new Capcom. Yeah, I know. It's getting out of hand. Half of all money made in movies last year was made by Disney. You know, when I first found out they were doing um, Disney characters and worlds in there, I'm like, okay, that's probably going to be like boring, but it's like, when I played it, it's like, whoa. Oh, yeah. No, I, I like the final Because some of the characters like actually get to the fighting be your system. companions in the game. Yeah, well, I like the fighting system for the Kingdom Hearts games because I like it when my NPCs aren't completely stupid. Oh, you okay. kind of give them an idea what they need to do, what they pay, you know. What and only them having certain fighting abilities. Yeah. It's like, really? Some well, people were, like, throwing a fit because Donald wouldn't heal you the first few times. Well, he just put it as the number one. You can set it so. Yeah, I mean, you can give him certain abilities that. My will problem usually was to stop him from using my damn potions. Every time I play Kingdom Hearts, the first thing I did is I do not let them have potions. Oh, yeah. I if have they potions. They use them for themselves. I will use them when, on you. when I think they need to be used. I actually like. You're a fucking duck, and I'm not sure what the I hell Goofy like is. They as cannot they, play with magic potions. As they started making it more, they gave you an ability called Kiraga, and you can use it. Yeah. Almost every time. I, that's Obviously, what I do. Obviously, because it's Final Fantasy. Oh, yes, Final Fantasy. So, Love some of the Final Fantasy characters that are in there. Well, yeah, except for... My, I, I, I really have always disliked... My favorite... Final Fantasy's magic system. My fi my favorite Final Fantasy characters that I've seen in Kingdom Hearts are Leon, Yuffie, and Cloud. Boy, those are the big ones. I also like Aerith. I don't like the guy in the black coat. I'm not really fond of Cloud. You know, I don't like most of Final Fantasy's heroes because I don't think I bet you're talking those about type Leon. of people, they're always like really sure of themselves. Cock sure, I know everything. I'm really good at this and I will take care of this. And I think those people always lose. I was happy to see Merlin. I hate people with high egos. There is no value in a person with a high ego. I was happy they put Merlin the Wizard in it. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, that's from Sword and Stone. Yeah. And I've actually watched that movie. Only one that really got me was Winnie the Pooh. <sighs> Winnie the Pooh. Oh they my shouldn't gosh, hurt Winnie the Pooh. Girls. When you got to go to the Hundred Eagle Woods. Yeah, but when Winnie the Pooh asks, how is he going to say goodbye to Pooh? Oh, yeah. Winnie the Pooh should not have to think about those questions. No, he shouldn't. Maybe other people, but he's too good. I don't like what they did to Pooh in the second game, because when you go 
back into the book when you come when you wake up from being uh, asleep. The book falls apart. Yeah, the book fell apart, and you have to go search for every freaking page that was torn out. <coughs> <coughs> yep. I just don't like how they made Pooh just go poof and then forget <coughs> Sora completely. And then you <laughs> having to go through the whole entire book, getting the whole entire book, <laughs> how about to put the, the ending? Book back together. The ending to the first game. It's I have such never a fucking. Completed the first Are game. you serious? I have not completed. There the first is game. no more depressing game I've than at the end of I've gotten Kingdom this Hearts. close to finishing the second game. The problem always... is basically cliffhanger. Sora loses. He, he loses, the, they come within inches of touching each other, and he loses her. He loses everything at the end. Except for he has his friend, the duck, and the guy who used to date a horse. You mean a cow? Cow? Yeah, it was yeah, a cow. Yeah, Goofy dated Clarabelle Cow. I used to think he looked like a <coughs> horse, though. He really liked the movies. Did he like the... He was, he was, he was utterly in love with her. Remember the, uh, Phil Phillipson? Oh, God. And the cows? <laughs> the cow porno being shot in the backyard with the tentacle. The octopus jacking off the milk udders of the cow as the cow shoots milk into the air. Well, the octopus was utterly... I have to ask this question. Who is your most annoying Organization 13 character? Mine, to be honest, was Demix, because he's like the dumbest person. Do you all honestly? The group. No one of the Final Fantasy characters in Kingdom Heart sticks in my head. They were just mindless people. They didn't have identities, they didn't have faces. It's kind of like what I hate about playing MMORPG games, is I, I, I hate it when my NPCs talk to me. I will talk to them. <laughs> if I want real life the, uh, interaction, thirteen characters did you not like? The same one that you just said. I can't Demix. remember them. Is he the one with the guitar? Yes. And the one who who always says "dance, water, dance." Yeah, the one with the cards was also kind of a. Kind of oh gosh, the gambler. I really can't remember these characters. I I played the game so long ago. Another one I hate, Zigbar, because of his. Darn diamond gun thingies. And it was just before Kyrie got her key blade. I just remember oh, yes. that they were all pussies. I have a hard time. Because I won. I've actually had a hard time trying to defeat Zigbar. It took me like several times to defeat him, and then it came to being the other ones, which I've come across the gambler, which I hate because he always kills me. Roxas was honestly the hardest one, and it's because you're the weakest at that point. Oh yeah, I forget yeah. you had to fight Roxas. In the very beginning, pretty much. <sighs> I, don't know. I liked playing Roxas in the beginning when the you first started Kingdom Hearts 2. Hold on, Roxas. Telling you how much he loves you and how you can't even remember him, and you're like, don't all don't I remember, don't I remember especially. All that I remember is, is the main guy whose friend was on the island that's his best friend. Riku? Yeah, I would never be friends with someone like that. Oh, gosh. I could not... See. The guy was the type of guy I would have kicked the shit out of in oh, school. But he gets better. No, no, I, I don't... I, no, no, he just learns how to cover it better. I don't believe in people changing. He's an asshole, and like every one of those Final Fantasy games, the asshole's still an asshole. Okay, we're st I'm waiting for, uh... We're waiting for Bill. Yeah. Okay. How you feeling? Worn out? Crampy. Crampy. You guys? Well, let's see here. What time we got? 9.26. Yep. So, so we've been on for two hours. Well, what we can do is we can explore the town a little bit. Okay. Look for stuff that needs to be bought. Get a second chance at supplies. Oh, and your hotel room, I should tell you. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, 
Your hotel room you'll have to pay for. It's ten gold a day. Why you guys just brought a cart? What, sleep in a cart? Like a carriage or something. Oh, well because actually when you guys are wandering around you'll find out you can't buy any pack animal or any kind of vehicle if you are not a native citizen. They have a little bit of a military dictatorship here. Talking to some people, Baron Munchmouse <laughs> has not always been in charge. That just happened like 50 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, it can't stop laughing at the guy's face. At Munchmouse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go and see this guy, we get all of our laugh out. Molly, okay. Molly, Molly, Molly. <laughs> Munch Mouse. Munch Mouse. Munch Mouse. Munch Mouse! Munch Mouse is with you if you're really bad. Now, what you will need to do in this mission at this point is as you guys check your into your rooms, we'll say one day's paid for. Uh, anything more than that is up to you. You don't take up much space, huh? You'll sleep underneath the end table. The fairy can share with me. I don't mind. You can sleep kind of like, see if you look at the picture, it looks like fairy's room. Uh, a space underneath the table. You can live like my cat. My cat loves sleeping underneath the end table on my side of the bed. Okay, well, there's, um, you guys all have individual beds. Oh, four of you. Kitty! All right, we're separate rooms. Now, later on, you can go to your own rooms, if you, or share a room if you want to save money. But the first night, all your money, all your rooms are paid for. With your stuff is a large crate in your room. A large crate and a small crate. The small crate's still about this tall, but it's only like, you know, it's about three feet tall, but about a foot around, square. The other one is about four times that size. About the same height, but much wider. Should we be suspicious? Of this is not stuff that you guys brought. I'd bring it up immediately to them. Hey, guys, look at the boxes. I'm going to open them, says the fairy. Which one do you want to open? The big one first. Big one first. I'm a little suspicious about the box. Okay. What do you do? You run and hide as he goes to open it? He runs to open it. I, I would probably just sit back and watch him open it. It lines up with you in the way. If it explodes, it takes you out. I inherit everything, she says. Every time he falls over. I win! Last sibling I'm the young I'm the young youngest sister I wouldn't let my brother die okay uh, make a strength roll oh, color mini art. 35 okay no problem pops open it is full of rope and leather bags I'm questioning, what is that stuff for? <laughs> On to the little one! The little one? Yeah. Okay. Frame? Open the other one? Yes. Roll. How dare they frame us? We didn't do anything. Fitty. Fitty! That one has a uh, vase in it. It's sealed. That is ours. The other thing is a bunch of rope with a bunch of, it's nylon rope actually, with a bunch of uh, bags, leather bags. So it wants us to the bags have stuff in it. I'm going to look and see in the bags. Hooks. It's to get into the library. Um, some uh, pitons, hammers. It's climbing gear. It's to get into the library. Knowing this mission, what you got to do is the guy who has the book is way up this mountain in that castle. That's where the bar Baron lives. That's where his book is. Let's go get the fucking book! There are, I'll inform you, 
of your own information because there's also a map here. These things show you that your options of directions to take is the mountain road. There is, there's the cliff, but there is also a thing marked sky tram or sky train. Crazy kitty again. No, I guess sky ship. But what it is, is it's like a hand drawn by incredibly strong ogres on the door, ogres on the top side, a uh, trolley system that goes from the ground all the way up there. We're going to take the mountain road. Of course, that's run by them. There is no road on the bottom. There is no thing from the bottom. It's all pulled up, which means the other car comes down from the top. So you have to be up there to operate it. We're going to take the mountain road. And try the mountain road? Yep. Okay. Oh, hey, look at him. You fly. Okay, screw it. We're going to climb up it. You fly, climb up Yes. Isn't that dangerous? Isn't that dangerous? Hey, deal with it. Are we going to kill people? Yeah, that's safe. Oh, that's so totally safe. We're going to be killers. So... Um, I guess the question is, we probably want to finish stuff in town, but do we want to set off up the cliff tonight? Let's rest tonight. Yeah, yeah rest and do it in the morning. Yeah, if we just did two battles. We need to rest. Oh, wow, I can go longer. Well, if Ada can go longer, then Raina can go longer. Well, everyone, what's your con to start with? 18. Okay. 13. Okay. 25. Okay. One, two, and three points healing. Oh, I didn't take any damage. So you're good. I didn't take any because of my armor. Well, then I, I guess did. you don't grow a tumor. <laughs> I took damage. So it's growing extra hit points? You took both. You two took damage. You said the two had a healing potion, didn't you? Did you take it? Take it and did the do the points for you. Well, nice. Okay. Right. Yeah. Six. Okay. Now, say so take six points. Do you guys want to rest any additional days? Let's just rest. One day. Yep. Okay. So you add six to your other. You have how many points? Four. Four? Okay. Oh. For health. I for con. So you're good, but Morgan. What do you have? Four? I've got uh, 13 for my con. Well, what's... No, you, took, you got knocked out earlier. Yeah, she did. I forgot to write that down. Okay, we'll rest one more day. So you took, what, three points? So you had four points. And then we should go show another day. While she's, while she's resting this last day. So you take one more? Because her health is how much? What's 13. Your 13? You take one more, you take two more, you take... if you Well, you don't need any, so shut up. <laughs> We're talking so much, Bill. Fuck. I know. You don't feel good, do you? No, I don't. Okay. Or your character. Well, I think because also the point in the game where we're at, which we would have had more to do earlier if I had more players. I had stuff planned for two other players, but they weren't here. Well, we could go explore this city. Well, yeah, we can go around the city and do stuff. We can find food. What do you guys want? Well, first of all, let's go with let's go with the order of turns. Ado and Fox. Ado's name comes first. I'm gonna go get a fucking drink. Okay. Do you want to go down to the the hostel has a place to eat? Okay. Okay. They actually have quite a nice place. It's expensive there. It's fancy. It's probably a nice place. It's better than where you live. Oh, all the furniture seems to be, like, the chairs seem to be a little too tall. Not too tall. You can get into them. I'm six foot seven. Yeah. And I'm six nine. 
I'd say a normal chair is probably like the black chairs in there. They're like those. Like the tall. I'm on six nine. Like your standard seat's yeah. about the high to as high as a bar stool. They've kind of like set everything to theirs since they've been here. Um, do you guys also want to like maybe get some information? Yeah. Ask Ooh, around yes. town about some stuff. Okay, so we'll start with Ado. What are you doing? Gonna go get a drink. That's right. And possibly oh. some food. And some food. Okay, roll a dice six then. Because you're eating, drinking, you slept this day. Five. Take five points healing. I'm completely healed. Good. That was some good food. Sausages and potatoes. Yeah. And... Okay, no sausage. Do you want veg vegetarian sausage? Sure. Okay. Can I eat What? Yeah, sure. She's like, that's meat. I don't like that. Fairy's like, I'll take that. It's a piece of meat about as big as half a half of it. I will eat this whole thing, and I will call it Fred. <coughs> you can go and go out and get a drink and some food. Do you eat it like a fat kid eats M and M's? <coughs> you go get some food too. Yeah. You're not healed. You're not hurt. So you just fill up. You feel healthy. Filled up. How about you? I had a couple of drinks. I'm gonna go get a drinking some food. Okay, roll a dice six. You heal one point. Wow. You're not healing well today. Are you sick? Hey. Take a potion. Does she have one? I give her one. Okay, roll a dice six for that. You wanna try or you wanna let someone else roll it? Do you want me to roll it? Yeah, go ahead. Cause hey. Fail, obviously, today. Six! Okay, take six points healing. <coughs> so, uh, next person would be Fox. You say, oh, wait, all you said, what did you say want to do, Anya? Um, I wanted to get some food. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go get some So are you uh, in the bar discussing this with everyone, or what? No, before we went to the bar. Well, they already left. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't paying attention, apparently. So you're sitting there talking, you thought you were talking to everyone. And you turn around, and you're the only one in the room. This is why you shouldn't monologue on your own. This is why I'm not Guys, okay. wait, guys, wait, guys, wait! <laughs> Who are we going to kill? She goes yelling down the hallway. Everyone stops and looks. Don't worry, it's not you, he says. <laughs> okay. So, you're down at the hotel eating at the hotel kitchen. Actually, it, it does, it, it's quite professionally serving us nice. This is nice. <laughs> co comfy seats and everything. Oh wait, I forgot. This is what Okay. <laughs> um, like I said, what we have you can look at is you go check out St. Gretchen's Church. You can head to the town hall. There are some other hotels. There's a youth hostel for like students and stuff like that. They're on limited budget. Because there is also a magical school here. Although, apparently, trolls can't do magic, but that's an argument right now, legally, as far as the mages care. What? Then we have the additional specialist shops, which are the, the skill of the much Mossian people. Pipes, clocks, sausages, jewelry, clockwork toys, and Bavarian dress, which is actually quite... Oddly, brightly colored, and lots of frill. What century? Like, what era, kind of? Well, kind of it, it, what's it look like? I'd say it looks kind of like Elizabethan. That's not bad. I'll get one in my set. Dark's clothing. <laughs> it may take some, so they may have to adjust it for you, but they could probably do it. 
I mean, they don't probably, I, I don't imagine they'd have it, like, in stock. Well, there's not a lot of fairies come around here. What I would probably take is a gnome's uniform and, and adjust it in for you. I'd be adjusting it in by a good half a foot. Well, that's the no shortest thing I know around here. You don't have dolls? I don't, but over the clockwork toy store they do. My address there. You want to go there and buy clothes? Where they fit? Well, maybe. They might have something because, you know, clockwork toys come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Land on the, uh, 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 I'd say make a luck roll. Do you want to go there and look? Uh, I want to work out something here at the higher quality clothes. Okay. What do you want a good formals wear? I could probably have it ready by, for you easily for by tomorrow. Okay. Something that doesn't say that I want okay. to hurt you? No. Well, I would just say something that says, right I'm here, I'm beautiful, respect me. I have, I have a sword on my back and for a human. <laughs> well, that's kind of hard to hide anyways. Would you like some, some poof for that? Okay, and we give you a long train. So how much would this come to? And one that would fit around my wings? I could probably get one right for you tomorrow for... Actually, make a charisma roll. See how enchanting you are. I had to go make a of weeds. Two dice plus your charisma. Because she was sitting at the end of the hallway going... Do we know? What, you have to make a bed? Nasty yeah, she was sitting us in the middle of the hallway. What? 27. 27, second level. God, also, I'm going to go with the bird wings, not the fairy wings. Not okay. The bird wings. I can see 40 gold. Over there in the monitor. Okay. And this will be out of the finest silk. Look at it. They uh, start getting there. Some people come out and start sizing you up. They get some small tape measures out. <laughs> okay, and they're gonna basically set all up. So basically, the dress will hang out long enough to hide your sword. Nice. Unless someone looks up your dress, teeth, <laughs> and sees a sword. Or just land on them with it. Yeah. Ooh, poke them. Lots of frill to help hide it on the back as you know, see where it's going. Okay. Uh, so that's what the fairy's doing. What's Ado doing in town? Now you ain't drinking everything. Unless you still drink it. Wait. I can eat and drink again. Um... I'm going to go get information about the uh, Baron. About the Baron? Yep. Uh, where do you want to go? Just around. Talking to me. Just kicking around? Okay. What are you doing, Fox? I'm going to go to the church and fi find some information from over there. Okay. And what's Raina want to do? God damn it. I think I'm going to go look for some new clothes. Okay. Well, what are you looking for in new clothes? You see the fairies there too, getting uh, sized up. Okay. For some professional looking clothes. You want to get all dressed up? You want a formal suit? No. Okay. Get a nice like shirt and pants. I have like an opening in the back, in my back. So you're getting a, just a nice looking... Yeah. Okay. Make a charisma roll. My hair is getting caught around my fucking earring. Okay. That's not good. No, I'm gonna have to go put a hoop in. <laughs> the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hole. 
Kiss my ass. <laughs> 28. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I got 28. Uh, 28. Okay. <laughs> I need to add up my money, too. Your money? Yeah, I gotta add up. Okay, what 28, you made a second time. level. That will reduce the price by 20. So they'll do it for you for 20. They've already got one, so they don't have to do much modifying. They got something pretty close. Oh, see, it's easy for her. Well, she's a normal, uh, well, a, a more common size. How much money did they get? A thousand? Uh -huh. Hey! Hi. Wow, Amanda. What? I just got a bunch of money sitting there in a the bag. Never mind. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> you might, I, I was going to give you 1500 Oh. Okay, I'm poor. Excuse me. Like well, she was just given a thousand, so. Yeah. Never mind. She's been carrying it with her. She, you know, looking at her, wow. she's like across the sea, going on the Maybe wagon train, bag. holding that bag close to herself. Hundred like, bag. I have in my money. <laughs> Two thousand one hundred. <laughs> Do you want to like help people hold on to that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not stealing my money, fairy. <laughs> Just going to borrow it. It isn't borrowing it, it's seized. Isn't borrowing it if my fingers are crossed? 732. I have 8,095. Jesus. Hey, that was richer than her sister. Full. She's been doing this. I've been around longer than you have. Oh, so you're just assuming I was old? I was just born? Well, you are 32. Wow. Okay. And she's 100 something. 109. So you're a baby. Yes, I am a baby because I am. Th my character is 32. They uh, come to age in the dark elves, about the same age, but they they from that point kind of slow down a lot like the elves. They live underground in a more dangerous environments. So they come to maturity a little sooner. Your character is the same age as your drag mama. And we already know she can't help you. No. She's already crazy. Hey! Hey, at least she had a beautiful daughter. <laughs> Her son, I should say. Handsome son. So, um... Well, you know, Justin does take after his mama. True. Information-wise, we will do a check with... Where's that... I have a section for that. Really, I do. And my hair is cool. Um. How many more points am I going to need to level up again? Where are you at? You third level? Yep, I'm at level three right now. How many do you have? I had calculated 462 points for my adventure. 462? Mm -hmm. I can't. Well, or I should add it to this. Yeah, because 462 Let is me not. Let add it to. You need. You know it's added up with your Yeah. Okay, that's better. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Um. You need like fifteen thousand. Okay. No, that's what me and Bill need for level six. That's 25. Wait, let me check here. You're probably, you're right. 15? Because I moved it down, that's right. So that's you need 7,000. Right you need 7,000 for fourth level? This one? Mm -hmm. You have 11,842. Let me check. I keep forgetting that's an old. Let's go with the new. We have 3,000 for fourth level. You need 7,000 for fifth. No, she, your fifth level. Wow. She has 7,000 some points? She has 11,842 points. Okay, so she's seventh level. Fifth level, I mean. Yeah. She should be rolling five nine. dice instead of three. And you need 15,000 for the next level. Sorry. The fairy needs 600 so for the next level. So you leveled, you leveled up twice. So I need, she needs to add points. So what I need to go on mine is... You and I both need 15,000. 
Well, I'm 13. Yeah, you can get closer. Um, so you have two times you gotta go up. You gotta go third and fourth? Or were you at third? No, oh, I'm not going to Okay, Watching. so four. So what do you want to add to it? Points, oh, your hurt. stat, what do you want? Hi. I want to <laughs> level up my strength. Okay, what is uh, it? It's at 15 right now. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. 19. <laughs> uh, 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 you also have 4 points? Yeah. Do you also add 4 points to your uh, combat ads. Right. Uh, 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 That's going to hurt your stomach. Actually, it feels good. Yeah. And then okay. four points added to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suddenly she's like, I am tougher! I am super right up! A, sec a special uh, ring happens and a, right, uh, a rainbow color appears above her head. She spins in circles. God damn it. Now everyone's doing it. What? <laughs> okay, first eight oh roll a dice six or roll a um what stat do you want to look around town are you using like if you're using strength you're slapping people around? My charisma. Your charisma, okay? Make a roll. Six speed. Okay. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So that's the ninth level. Well, you'll learn. First, where'd you go? To talk, you just went to the streets. Yeah. Okay. You're sitting on your vest. Munch Moss hmm? is crafty as a fox. Says his enemies. He has managed to stay out of the politics that keep his nation in turmoil and is said to keep a tight rein on his subjects. That's why the almost military style living. See lots of guards. Um, you went to check at the church. Roll dice, uh, roll percentage dice on charisma. Charisma? Yep. Can I support you for a sec? Okay. Hello. Attack you. Hey, Puddin. Uh, no, I told him I stepped away from that for a bit. Hmm? Puddin. I leveled up. <laughs> I'm a level. I'm a level five now. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. <laughs> well, you made it. You hear? You hear that the Baron was once a big spender. He has not been seen about in recent years, though, having apparently become a recluse in his castle. Oh, no. I doubt it. It's probably a lich. No! <laughs> Came a drunk, huh? Huh? You think he's up there drinking? Yep. Hey! A just because you would! A man after your own heart. Maybe just go up there and drink with him. Maybe that's all he needs is a drinking buddy. I don't think he's looking See how for That'll be better. Yeah, because my hair was getting caught in the backing of my Okay, well, so as you guys walk around <laughs> town, you kind of can learn on the basics and for all of you, because you both rolled higher than us anyways. Baron Munchmoss rules the tiny Bavar Empire, or domain, of Munchmoss, which consists of a single valley. His castle overlooks the entire valley. We're on the edges, there's some problems here and there. People want, you know, cutting in on his territory. But basically, their their big thing is trade. They're working on. I'd like a castle. You guys want a castle? Hell yeah, I'll take a castle. Okay. You're liberating them? You're doing, you can walk up there, kick open the door, and stick a flag in the air and say, Mine! I, I, I discovered this. Wow. Like, excuse me, out of here. You must go live in the backyard now. You will live on this reservation. You will sit in this camp and concentrate upon that. I completely forgot about this. I think you can pay me to my colonists and not 
Nazis, and I, I, I killed her, personally her. I see. Harry did that. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in the town. Um, yes, there is. Make a luck roll. Who? For Silver Fox. you ask a question about Munch Boss. Mm -hmm. uh, a guy comes up to you, a dwarf actually, in a, you know the standard kind of priestly robes, kind of like a monk. He says, why are you asking about the Baron? He says, oh, excuse me, my name is Father Braun. Why are you asking about the Baron? Yeah. Just, I'm in town and I just want to find out more about the area. Who and everything about it. Why would you come to this place? It's wretched. Never been here before. Ah. Well, you don't know until you have a comparison before you are as good or bad. Mm. The Baron is kind of a cruel man. He sees himself as a brilliant strategist, though. But he controls all possible threats. Uh, he, he really worries about people supposedly flying in on him. That's why he has the protection. He's afraid he's going to be attacked or something? Oh, at all times. Aren't all rulers that are cruel expect everyone else to be as cruel as they are? Uh, so he's kind of uh, a violent type. What did you say, Morgan? <laughs> Did you follow him to the church? Well, I've been following them since I got my dress. Well, yeah, but now they're all split up. But I guess I stuck with this one. Okay, he's with Silver Fox. That's right, you were sitting on his head. Penis head. Yeah, he went to the church, found out apparently Father Brom is kind of uh, against him. I'm a fan. A fan of the Father? Or a fan of the Baron? Well, uh, honestly, I'm going to play it all, uh, all sides until I find out how to kill the Baron. Well, that would be difficult. I mean, he is uh, over 300 years old. He's a troll. Yeah, most old people don't like dying, but they still do it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, except for he doesn't move as fast as he used to. He used to wander around this whole area. He used to be an adventurer. Did he take an arrow to the knee? <clears throat> no, he, uh... No one really knows. He just kind of like suddenly went home and closed the shop and... He's a hermit! Yeah, that's what he's become. But <clears throat> he just sits here and I think his council rules are in a way, but he's, his, his taxes have increased, yet his influence has decreased. Well, I myself wouldn't be allowed to do that. He is has no religion. Is he orange? <laughs> Have you tried any form of magic to see? Well, honestly, we do know it's him. We've kept it's an eye on him. We haven't had a chance to uh, do otherwise. So he's not a monster protector? <laughs> well, he is, but that's the monster that took out the Lord before that, about 50 years ago. Well, trolls are kind of the common race in this area. You're the you're the freak. Well, that's relative. Well, I'm sure all your relatives would be. Well, you're not wrong, but certainly 
But it would be where if I was in your forest, I would probably look quite strange. Forest? Sir, you know there's towns people live in. No, I live underground usually until I came to the surface. Um, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, I came here, didn't I? Oh, apparently surfaced in the wrong area. Munchmoss used to have the entire island. Now on the outside edges, he has rebellious forces coming. <coughs> it's only because he's increased the taxes so much to help in his investigation. He actually thinks he's got enough evidence now that the mm -hmm. the red robe priest of Gull have blocked the magic to the trolls. Yeah. But they... Sh they had magic before the Red Robe Priests, so he, uh... Didn't take it off? They think he should, they should allow him magic. And he thinks he's got the books to prove it. But did it help? Well, he's got the Faustian. So I can let you borrow it tomorrow if you want. Yes. Well, otherwise, because... You're not actually rogues are not allowed technically to have magic, but to make money they kind of gave the, the, the if you can not allow people to have it, you can choose who does then. So red robe priests in the area have kind of like limited it. Did you have any questions? Well, I was just wondering. <laughs> it's how the humans are controlling voice. things a little bit in this area. I also miss your joke. You were wondering. Oh, I was just curious on... Uh, I was tired of talking to you to the top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> My neck was getting sore. It's way up there. Well, I'm a dwarf, too, so... You're, you're already up there. there. I, he's, he's way up there. You guys maybe should sit down, and I'll stand on a pew. Okay. Made it. Bye. <coughs> okay. Well, I'll sit down on the bench. Boy, they'd hate it if I showed up. You need to stand on the bench? Yes. <laughs> Is Mike wanting to come home early? He He's, like, debating on it. But, yes, he kind of does want to come home early. So. Is it that boring down in Portland? Uh, no, his aunt's being a bitch. B-I-T-I-T? Yeah. Hey, that's personal. We shouldn't talk about that on the Sorry. Hey! Quick, give her a name. And an address! No. Are they home? <laughs> Oh, geez. Is the front door locked? Okay. Silver Fox, questions? Yes. Question. To are Father you, Braun. Are you against the Baron or uh, with him? Well, the church is not against anyone. Personally. You personally? It says, the fairy says it too. Um, personally, I don't agree with controlling the public that much. Apparently, I'm going to see a little bit. Oh. All oh, same color. Oh, that's all right. Crooked up. So. so. Um. So, if I have you ask some information from you, you wouldn't go and tell anybody else about it, would you? Uh, about what? I have people I serve as well. Now, if you bend over? Some days. Some days I don't. I just need to know how well are the guards over there and... Do you have any dirt on this fucker? <laughs> exactly. Well, as far as the guards go, actually, there aren't as many as you would think in the area because, well, he's kind of spread them out to deal with the uh, opposition on the outside edges now. If you've like, I heard the train recently got the the uh, train, the wagons, the wagon, the group of wagons. There's three of them with you guys. The wagon train, um, they got attacked on the way. Well, we have to have guards out there to deal with that. So there are less here than you would expect, but it's almost impossible to get up there. Um, if you take the road, they're gonna know. Uh, they'll see you sooner or later. Uh, you can't really take the tram unless you're supposed to be there because the first thing that happens when you get there is there's guards. 
How many guards does he have up there? I wouldn't know. Less than 20. But we're, they're the big ones. What are you saying, assassination? Because that's what it sounds like you're saying. No, I'm just wondering you know, how many to... to but that's not the, the problem is getting there. I mean... If you take the road, they'll know, and they'll just come out and stop you if they don't want to see you. What about the, uh, do they have any, uh, his back area, is it just a, a, a brick wall up there? Or if you're saying, just, well, it's on top of a mountain. So if he's just saying climb it? Yeah. Well, you have to watch out for the flying apes. Sabotage! Oh, these are flying apes. These are bigger. Something They're right. flying out there through flying the mountains, monkeys? making sure. <laughs> no, apes. Monkeys. They're not monkeys. Okay, those are big flying monkeys then. Yes, yeah, very large. They don't have tails. They're also three times the strength, at least. Oh, yeah. Oh, they can probably crush you. They're flying around up there making sure, you know, because he's really paranoid about something flying in attacking him always. I feel like he's going to be really, really prejudiced about me. Oh, I don't know. You might be kind of amazed. He likes to see new things. Well, a sword falling from the sky would be an amazing thing, I think. Well, yeah, but he is a very large dwarf or troll. Well, one would hope, but, you know, not that one would hope bad for anyone. Okay, we're straight in the eyes. We both know that's a lie. Now what? We both know that's a lie. Well, I can't say there's been many parishioners of my area here that have uh, been taken to the castle and disappeared, so... No, I would prefer to have still had them with me. The flock is getting thinner. Flock of seagulls! <laughs> have you ever thought about moving Are they your... seagulls that go mine, 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 yes. mine? I can't leave. I have to stay with the church. Okay. Yeah. Poor church. <laughs> we have flying apes. And then he says, I've got to go, but... If you do take an action against him, let us know. I have people that will help. And he runs off. I was going to say, this conversation better stay between us. Okay. Flying after him as he heads to start the mass. People start filtering into the church. I leave immediately with silver. Yeah. We're out of there. Okay. He leaves with silver. All of a sudden, what? Is your head being dragged out the door? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I must Come on, baby. I'm probably still shopping. I'm right beside him. Okay. Uh, You're not pushing him or anything? No, not even though uh, the fact that I could. Hey, Guido. Okay. Tickle. Well, what time we got? 10-10. I think we're going to be calling it for now because at this point we're going to have to, now we can discuss how do you think, out of game, we're not like in your characters now, how to deal with this castle. Well, I'll give you some information you guys can find out in town sooner or later. We will have mountains. The Tran is taken daily by servants, and only servants. Occasionally, nobility will come and see him for something, but rare any days. So you guys good at pretending to be slaves, and I'll hide in one of your bags stuff. Or at least hide into it, and nobody didn't see us. Otherwise, just picture like a tram, a ski tram, one of those things, but it's pulled by a cable on the top. Except it's manually pulled up by giant. Yeah, by uh, ogres, yes. Trolls would do it, but you know, it's beneath them, although they're twice as big. Um, there's some guards up top. Your choices are the mountain road, which would also have a chance of running into flying games, of course. Because they're, they're, they're out there, you're out on a road. Obviously, something's going to fly over the road every once in a while. 
She's just out in the open. Let's just go to the fucking woods up the road. The Sky Tram or the Cliff. Those are your three options. You can also just take it. Think about how you want to do that. Are we going to fight everyone up the hill? It's a good possibility. If you take the mountain road, chances are of a bigger fight. Okay. It takes two days to hike to the castle. Let's pretend to be slaves and go through the trail. Yeah, that takes a few hours, but then you just got to deal with what's at the top. Which will at least be two guards. Or they can just cut it and let you fall. Okay, how are you guys gonna? See, so guys, planning to maybe hide as servants. That'd be the least amount of fighting. Actually, they're not slaves. People apply for these jobs down in town. People like the job. It, it pays well. You know what? Yeah, maids, butlers, stuff like, and cooks. Ooh, you have an idea out of character, don't you? Morgan, get out of my head. Get out of my head. <coughs> I was going to apply to you, cook. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm poison bastard. Well, um, and you have no skill at it. Hence the... <laughs> Is that steak cooked yet? Smack. Is it done now? <laughs> smack! 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 I don't know what to do with meat. I'm a vegetarian. <gasps> What's this red thing? I just hit it. Ew, meat! <laughs> okay. It's bloody. Well, I guess we're going to call it there for now. Does anyone have any three final things to throw in? My cat's going crazy? <laughs> yeah. No. I'm good. Okay. We'll pick it up. You're still in town. You guys will be deciding on a route to take out of there to go get whatever it is we need, or to go get the book. And don't forget, you also need to take the vase. Fuck. And you might need the climbing equipment if you decide to climb it. Some people with strength will be easy to do. Those that aren't strong will be harder. Or if they have problems climbing, you can just strap them up inside a basket and, climb, and pull them up. Um, you two are pretty strong. Yeah. There's, there's still Thing. Yeah, hopefully maybe you learn to hide really well. Unless we do it at nighttime. Yeah. Not at nighttime maybe? We wait until dark and then we storm it. Okay. Sounds good. It's time to work We're going to head and go, people. Hope you had fun. We'll be here next week. Bye. I'm going to shut down the camera. Bye bye, everyone. Before we go too far.